you you do that, man. You 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 get out of that murder dungeon. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm actually safe. <laughs> I'd be satisfied. I've I've done my part. If someone like dragged me to safety, what the fuck, and the rest of you are like being attacked, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> if, I mean, all I, of, I if all from, of you I are dying, there, and I'm fine. If all of you are dying and I'm fine, I'm okay with that. Well, no, it's a matter of I've I've fulfilled my obligations. I've <laughs> your obligation of fighting a bear. As when friend. was this established as your obligation? I was given a very specific mission in life, and with <laughs> I was told, Benny, one day you'll need to use your luck to save a group of misfits, one of whom may be a killer from a bear. Once you've done that, you've earned your place in Valhalla. <laughs> so he's a Viking now. <laughs> oh, but he was always a Viking. Isn't he? <laughs> it's not his fault you never asked. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. Ruth just never took an interest. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Did you, did you not find it suspicious that he was very... Did you not find it suspicious his skill with an axe? <laughs> I mean, he didn't even kill a single bear with that skill, so. Hey. Plus, he's like, what, nine feet tall? Uh, I'm just... I mean, you know, nine, 15, 300, whatever your hat cannon is. He's a titan. He's a titan, is what it's happening. He's oh a titan, God. it's fine. All right. But I am glad we got all of that in the beginning of the stream. But. <laughs> that oh, was good. Fun. That was a fun. Yay. That was a fun little little thing we had. Uh, hey guys, what's going on? Hello, um, hello, Yoki Parasite. Hello, Nightly Dragon. Hello, Tolvin. Hello, Shay Kelly. Hello, Yoki Parasite again. Um, yeah. And hello, everybody else who has not yet to type into the chats. We are here again. I am Summoner Blue. We are playing Horror Resort RP. Last episode. Mm. The final episode. Yeah. Everything will be answered. Most things will be answered. <laughs> Some things will maybe be answered. It's a slasher oh flick. What do you want from me? <laughs> I don't have to answer everything. They didn't have to answer everything. Why do I have to answer everything? Why are you hold me to such a high standard? Hi, guys. What's going on with you guys though today? Oh, kill the bear. <laughs> you did kill a bear. That was, that was a thing that did happen. What? I mean... I mean, I told you guys last time was gonna be the the most the most uh the um, uh the the hardest one yet, and it, it was. I mean, you guys did some things. It was dangerous. Yeah, Jesus, dude. Yeah. Uh, whenever There's we some. whenever we last left you guys off, too, like one of you just like had glass shatter all over them. The other's going to help them, quote unquote, unless they're the killer. And... <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we have we have somebody getting hit in the back of the head, but just taking it. I don't know. It sounds Fucking like a very killer power shit. to have, Emerald. <laughs> I mean, I feel like if I had this power, I could have handled the bear myself. But you didn't. So. Sounds like something a killer would not do. <laughs> oh my god! And one oh, of man, you were dragged man, away, like... potentially by your accomplice. <laughs> 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 but I, I have. Need, I... But I have already talked to each and every one of you uh, in private about your final uh, mission statements uh, that may or may not have been real or true or false at all. Uh, you guys have responded to me. Oh, yeah, some, some of you have responded to me uh, with things that maybe you guys uh, want to do or have done or <laughs> planning to do. Uh, maybe none of you responded to me. Maybe I, didn't even maybe I didn't even type to anybody. I don't know. Pretty sure I typed to each of you, though. <laughs> I hope it didn't start with me because I had to run and grab my glasses. <laughs> oh, God. We haven't started with anything yet. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lubby says the bear fight was dangerous, but was it pterodactyl dangerous? Hmm. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, blue check right, donations right. before getting too deep in RP. Mine should have gone through. Oh, uh, American Jake just donated $2. I love All Might in a trench coat, the Viking. He's my hero, and I want to emulate yes. him to a T. So if he's a murderer, I guess I, I guess I, we have someone to blame for influencing me. Oh my God! <laughs> Fear not, citizen. I feel confident. I am about in the fact, game. not a murderer. Sounds like something a murderer would say. <laughs> I would roll a natural. I am 20. a holy knight seeking vengeance upon a corrupt society. However. <laughs> 
Whether that be in the true interest of individuals is not really understood, but as society am, as a whole... <laughs> I am merely trying to reclaim my place and find my fame, as I was once known as the Norse god Zeus. Don't correct me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Look at all the rolls happening, Rad Chad. I know. Why are you making all I'm these so rolls in the background Chad. for? Someone well, Rad this? Chad, I hope you're happy. You wasted a 20. <laughs> I've wasted three wasted two twenties. twenties. Thank you very much. Fuck. Mm. Get those out of your system. Get those out of your system, killer. I've also <laughs> so rolled two so, ones. So just uh, so everyone at home knows, I am. Uh, I've established off screen that I 100% believe Emerald's the killer. Oh yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Tolvin just just brought up a point. The Norse god Zeus, indeed. That's why I said don't correct me after it. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Holy I don't see, Templar, the I don't Norse any, god Zeus. I don't see any any reason to, to to correct you on that. Like, there's no reason to correct you on that. That's right. <laughs> uh, Norse god Zeus, and I shall slay my enemy, the 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 Greek Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, sounds pretty villainous to me. <laughs> No, he's a bad guy. He's done a really good job convincing everyone he's not. <laughs> Man, he's going to show up. He's going to be like, surprise, Satan. is going to be <laughs> the biggest troll in history. You know, we I, haven't talked about, like, Zeus. we haven't talked about the one person who's really, like, like pretty jazzed up to be, to be the killer here. Like, all I'm saying is Ruth is just slipping behind the cracks is all I'm saying. Like, Ruth could be the killer. She's the one that found the axe. And just so happened to be able to fix the electricity. I know. Listen, if Ruth is so to have a gun, watched me do it. Listen, listen. If Ruth is the killer, then good for Ruth. I'm glad that she has this. <laughs> he really oh needs my god! Win, I think he maybe deserves one. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh my Ruth. god! Ruth, maybe why are you I hanging out with these people? For my I'm, fucking, I'm fucking crippled and I can't do anything. I don't care who the killer is. Whatever they're going to do at this point, I can't stop them. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be the hero. Uh, I'm fucking all might post all for one. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we are going to be starting in just a few minutes, guys. I'm, j I'm just making sure that everybody who wants to be here in the start is here. Uh, before anything happens uh, with everything, I just want to say that I had I had a lot of, I had a lot of fun making this the second the, the second stream game of the of the week and li this this little shorter campaign was actually really fun to to write like it was a lot different than how I'm used to doing things I'm used to writing out full campaigns um, that span over like years. <laughs> um, Dodge, I can see your comments. You are in fact yeah you are actually watching the stream. This is not a recording. <laughs> start this wow. yet. I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick. <laughs> Dodge thought they were watching a recording. Yeah. That's hilarious. Nah. <laughs> Fucking, or maybe it is recording and this is all just a big well-timed goof. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that'd be impressive. Mm -hmm. oh, I just assumed I arrived like halfway through. <laughs> nah. No, we just now started Dodge. Don't worry. Huh. With all that being said, though, I'm going to go and check and see if there's any, any water in my fridge. Do you have, like, a water in here? Ugh. It's not mega cold, but it's cold enough. You're mega cold. Well, thank you. I'm pretty sure I have to be with you guys around. I mean, look at all you stone-cold killers. So I'm trying to come up with names, like gag names for episodes of Ladies' Night that play <laughs> upon the fact that it's all girls. But I'm also, every time I think of one, I'm like, is that somehow misogynistic of me? <laughs> like, Are you basing everything off of like a womanly trope? I don't know. Because <laughs> if you are... It's you know it might be considered slightly misogynistic. I'm 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 like trying this fine line between, do I want to make the game like more of a funny game that's based around the fact that it's a bunch of girl adventures, or do I want to do just a traditional adventure with a bunch of girls as the main characters? And I'm leaning towards the latter because I think that's really cool, mm. but like I'm very like, 
But if this was like a dumb one-off game, I'd be like, <clears throat> all right, ladies, today we're going to prove that female adventurers have all the moxie of the male adventurers. Your goal today is to get back the golden enchanted flaming curling iron of Vishton 2. <laughs> it has been sealed. Oh, <laughs> it's been sealed. God. In a horrifying workshop owned by the most fearsome of creatures, one of your ex-boyfriends. <gasps> <gasps> Fuck. Turns out to be all of your ex-boyfriends. <laughs> his dude bros are over and they're watching the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh Turns out the evil, the evil mastermind is every one of their ex-boyfriends like he's uh, he has gotten with all of them at one point if if Aaron's around adventure. also I talked to him earlier briefly he's agreed to be your group's boss Lee and occasionally pop in hell yeah <laughs> oh my god to, like, yes the, your, like the ladies night is centered at a bar that Aaron's character owns you just come back and he's like hello ladies how'd your adventure go tell me all about it here's a drink like he's just there to show up and listen <laughs> That is actually hilarious. <laughs> just every now and then you just hear Aaron just show up like, hey guys. <laughs> well, like, get out. How dare you? Uh, oh, so ladies night, huh? What's going on? <laughs> their guild name is based off the fact that like, the, <laughs> it's like a strip club and the one night they all met to like, like brainstorm their, their, uh, their uh, guild. They came in on ladies night. <laughs> Oh my god. And that's where they met Carrie's character. Oh! Oh! oh my god. <laughs> no, but, now that's sad. See, that's where I'm like, of course, I don't want to brand the whole game with like that. So I think the most I'll take out of that is he owns a bar. Their, their base is a bar. <laughs> like, a, like, a, like a tasteful bar. <clears throat> it's, it's, an, it's a nice little pub. And they do have ladies' night occasionally. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's ladies' night every Tuesday, or when the girls come in. Dodd says, "What is this about a ladies' night D and D session? Um, do you want do you want to explain that before we start the game?" Uh, sure. If if it's not um imposing, no, go ahead. Um, basically, um, a bunch of girls. We Carrie and I started joking about like a game that was going to have mostly girls because I was trying to set up a few D and D games to um get to know some people I didn't know very well. <clears throat> um. And basically, the guys I asked were like, I'd love to play, but I'm super busy. And then all the girls I asked were like, yes! So <laughs> it sort of became this joke where it like, looks like it's going to be an all-girls game, which then evolved into a Twitter post talking about it, which then ended up with some people being like um, suggested, and then all of them being like, yes. And now we have a five or six uh, person game that's going to be all-girls, all-female abridgers, and we've decided to run a a series of games that are going to be called Ladies Night, but Night with a K. <laughs> um, course, it's going to be yeah, you're welcome. Uh, the, the the people that are confirmed right now are uh, the people the people that are confirmed right now are uh, Red as a Tomato, uh, uh, Carrie, um, Eva, um, Bread Brederson, uh, Ali Floro, and Megami wants to play uh, from what we understand, but she hasn't gotten back to me about it yet. Hmm. See how our schedule looks. Six yeah. people. Six people is a, a pretty good, a pretty good size. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's uh, honestly that's why I'm like, if Megami says no, I'm not gonna try to fill the sixth slot because mm. I'm pretty comfortable where <clears> we are. <throat> but um, if she says yes, then then totally. Because also like also that's a lot of that's people. a lot of sim simultaneous voices to say hello, Bosley, whenever Aaron enters. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, the character's name's not gonna be Bosley, but yeah. <laughs> How dare you? His name should be Boss. Just make him Aaron. Just make it be Aaron. Just literally it's just, just Aaron. He owns a bar. Aaron. <laughs> His character is just Aaron of the bar. Uh, what's the most people have ever had in a D&D &D game? Eight, I think. The current one? Mm. Yeah, I think the most I've ever um, had is eight, too. No, I, I did the current one. I don't think it had eight to begin with. I think there were seven of you. <clears throat> at, at the peak um no eight when i used to run i think my beach <clears throat> game i think it, it peaked out at eight at one point although a couple of them were pretty fucking uh who was it kazia's friend tristan's friend i don't know the dude that was playing the knuckle fighter who slept through most of the games and didn't show up which was the, annoying. the highest number of people i've ever had in the game was eight but there was nine characters 
Mm. God. Like it was eight people, but one of them was like, I want to have a split personality. And I, I agreed stupidly. <laughs> wow. Cause I'm like, Oh, that's interesting. I'm sure you'll play it. Interestingly. They didn't. <laughs> I love how your mic just fizzled out. And all we heard was wow. <laughs> I'm glad that that happened. Oh, uh, but yes, with all that being said, tune into Ladies Night. I can't wait for it. I want I want I want to see how everybody how everybody goes and and goes about things cuz it's like you you also said like they have like uh if it's all like about a guild called Ladies Night, they have to all be ladies as well. So like yeah, even the characters themselves have to be girls. I'm very upset. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it sounds like it's gonna be. It sounds like it's gonna be a freaking riot to my like myself, like a bunch of abridgers with you at the helm, Aaron holding a bar, <laughs> freaking top, top quality. But as it is now ten thirty one on my uh, clock, seven thirty one for you guys. Um, I think it is time for us to get started with this. <clears throat> now, the last thing I want to say before we before we head off into into the. Uh, into what is potentially the final game. I do want everybody to know. Don't get comfortable. <laughs> Anything can happen like at this point. Minutes. Anything yeah. can happen. We're at the think of this like the last 30 minutes of a slasher film. None of you are safe. Alright, but Deco. Hey, what's up, man? But Deco? Yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you, you've forgotten something. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, never mind. I just rolled a muscle roll, and if I got less than a five, I'd be like, Deco, I bleed out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're not bleeding out yet. Because you got you got treated, man. Somewhat. <laughs> you got somewhat treated. Without I, I could have been better. But what she could. They stopped the bleeding. They didn't use the good stuff on you, but at least they stopped the bleeding. Oh, the good no. good stuff I'm, that I'm, he created. I'm waiting with breath to see those <laughs> antibacterial bandages used for something useful. <laughs> <laughs> ever touching them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, be disappointed. Speaking of the antibacterial Shut bandages up, <laughs> and all of you guys starting out this stuff. Everybody, just as we're about to come into here, um, uh, American Jake donated two dollars. Anything that is donated tonight is gonna go to Halloween tomorrow. I'm going to be um, uh, getting candy for people, so just letting you guys know where the money is gonna be going for this. So that two dollars is gonna help me go to it. But as we all come into this game, the last time we left off, bit of a cliffhanger. One person got hit in the back of the head. Motherfucker. <laughs> One was yeah, chased out of a, the back chased of the out of a broken was. window into the snow. One heard a scream running off to their friend. Acquaintance. A friend acquaintance. Uh, they, know the, they know each other. Mm. And the final was dragged away on a sled. As that all of them separated from themselves. Is the puppy with me? Is the puppy on my belly? <laughs> mm-hmm. you, want, sure. you want the duke to be on you? Yeah. Roll me for I mean, yeah, you know what? Him. Fuck it. Roll me for luck. The Duke uh-huh. is going to guard him. <laughs> Twenty nine. Oh, I've got Duke, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, you need a thirty for the Duke. Hashtag oh not the Duke. I'm kidding. That's enough fucking like that's high enough luck that I might as well fuse with Duke and become a were dog. <laughs> oh my god. It's yes, it's true. As the this is killer. brought to attention, there are three groups right now. One is still in the hotel. Two of you are outside of it, running away from some Jason Voorhees motherfucker who does not seem to stop for anything. And the last of you, who knows where you are. I would like for each of you to please roll me for... I was gonna say luck, and then I stopped. (laughs) Because I'm like, you know what? I think that was a good enough roll for luck right there. Um... (laughs) Each of you choose some. Um, uh, each of you roll me for your focus, and in uh, in Izzy and Carrie's uh, situation, one of you roll. 
Oh shit! Why well, just roll? I got a negative one. I did bad. I know, uh, I know I'm not rolling, but I decided to I anyway. Did. I'm sorry. God damn it! I probably could have done really well, Carrie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wish I had a bonus for focus. Go ahead, go ahead, and go ahead and roll me since you guys oh, rolled it. Since you guys I'm rolled sorry. it just as I was saying. I didn't know that you hey, go, it. go ahead, and, go ahead and roll me, Ruth. Since you rolled, since uh, they rolled as soon as I said it. De right. Deco, yes, up, man. Did I need to roll that? You're Oops. fine, dude. Don't worry about I it. I clicked it twice I, by accident. Because I got a negative <laughs> one. Yeah. You're fine, dude. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're I'm fine, sorry. man. I got a one. <laughs> You're good, dude. <laughs> I got a nat one, which yeah, became a did. negative one. You got a nat oh, one, buddy. It's, it's okay. I'm blind. I believe in you. <laughs> uh, American Jake raises a good point. Don't oh. fuse with the dog. Saw a little girl do that once. Didn't know oh, one. no. <laughs> Have you guys seen the uh, trailer for the live action Full Metal Alchemist yet? Rad Chad. In a couple of them. Yeah, <laughs> So rad, Chad. Yeah, I got a fourteen. You get knocked in the back of the head. You do Fucking not sway shit. forth. You stay your ground and you turn. A person is standing behind you. You're shocked for a moment to see the per who the person is, that just wailed on the back of your fucking brain. Who is it? Oh, you're too shocked right now. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I need to know if I need to swing or not. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, does it really matter who it is if we're just going to swing at him? I'm, I'm playing. I mean, dead. she was to be my wife. It depends if it's Paul <laughs> and he must have been afraid. You look behind you. Got lucky. As you see. Paul. Oh shit, I was right. Fuck, I was I was hoping Paul had me. You look behind <sighs> as Paul is holding. Did I say what he hit you with last time? Uh no. Good, because I don't remember. Do He's holding what appears to be a chair in his arms. In his arms. In his arms. I thought he threw it. Harm and arms. No, he did not throw it. He hit you. You see him standing behind you, a chair in his a chair in his arms, as he's just staring at you like the fuck are you made of? <laughs> oh my god! You see oh. his mouth. You see his mouth is slightly ajar as he hits you with this. <laughs> why? Just, just why, Paul? Paul, oh, why? Do you say that? Uh, yeah. Back, back, back away! Just leave me alone. All right. What he holds the chair in front of him. I, I mean it. Easy, Paul. Easy. We just got back. Shit's obviously hit the fan. I'm gonna need you to calm down. Do you want one of my doobies, man? Help you calm down a bit? You... You, you took that like it was nothing. Just like that other guy. Nothing. No, no, I've been hit. We fought a bear. Let's go with that. Shit's not mean. good. Do you expect me to believe that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would like it if you did. <laughs> no, the, the guy... The guy that killed that, that, that police officer, he didn't move either when we hit him. <gasps> it was you, wasn't it? Oh, fuck. What say okay. you now, Chad? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm Chad. sorry about that. <laughs> what oh, happened? Wow, You're sorry? Chad. No, I mean, I, no, I'm really, what happened? I, I'm sorry. I call, I was called away. To the door. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my he said god, that, that sounds the, like something a killer would say. He does. said that the per, he said that the person that killed um, uh, that killed the officer didn't move at all either when we hit him. Who was it? <laughs> he 
thinks it's you. Mean. He thinks it's <laughs> you, <laughs> man. We all went to the to the uh. He don't know if you were there. The he doesn't know if you were there the entire time. Getting real bad. He just got back. Murder. He doesn't know that. <laughs> he was legitimately with us, though. No, he was a murder. Fucking um. Unless he has never brother. Just, <gasps> just stay away. Just, just go on. Get out of here. Bro. Calm down. You're right. I should just. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You used to like, talk reason into me. <laughs> oh my god. He's just holding. He's just holding the chair. I would like you to please, as you're si as you're sitting there trying to t trying to talk him down. Uh, go ahead and roll me for your. Uh, we'll we'll give you a luck roll here. Uh oh, that's a twelve. As Looks you like see that up. he's looking very unstable holding this chair. Like, if you get further, he will probably swing again. Look. Did you hear that sound earlier? It's a good time Somebody to kill broke him some now. glass. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. I've been up here, right? I don't know. Fine, Paul. Whatever. What'd you do to the others? <laughs> Are they still up there? Um, I know that girl, nerdy bitch, uh, they're fine. Girl and nerdy oh, bitch? See, girl. girl. I'm your girl. Girlfriend. I said my girl. Thank you very much. Fucking douche. <laughs> I'm, I'm wow. sorry. I'm, I'm a bit. What a killer! I was out of it for a second, and I'm, I'm trying to ease what back into this. What a murderer he is! Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Stacy will remember this. <laughs> Stacy's not even right around. <laughs> she's like on her way to rescue Ruth, and she's like, "Wait, I sense that I'm pissed off at Chad for something." <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see that you see that he is just—he's just shaking. He's just shaking the, the chair, like his 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 arms are shaking. He's obviously afraid. Oh, give him a reason to trust you, bro. Yeah. Um, I tried offering him the drugs, but that didn't work. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> you should leave. Light up and you hang out. That's how I know how to do it. Just, just get out of here! <laughs> Don't come any closer. All right. Yeah. Okay. Just, just leave. <laughs> just All right. Fine. Don't come near me. Okay. <laughs> Stay away from me, Espada. I'm not coming towards you. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe he's a fan. <laughs> Look, just stay up here. The guy that's doing all the murdering is probably downstairs. <clears throat> Gotta take care of that. Do you, do you turn away from him? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn away from him. Just go down the stairs. Lock yourself in one of the rooms up here. Roll me for focus. <laughs> Benny's not around, so no one's gonna break into the. You turn away, Damn. but you do, but you do keep an eye on him as you as you turn. He looks like he he looks like he was he was stepping forward a bit, but then again, he saw he saw you. Uh, he you, like you were looking at him, like you're like no. Nah. He just kind of stays back, still holding the chair in his hands. He just kind of backs off into one of the rooms and shut and slams the door. I hope Paul survives. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to care if he does or not. <laughs> <clears throat> you just stay up there. I mean, he's obviously not the murderer. Because I'd like you to are the murderer. I'd like to telepathically send Paul good vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to... 
I'd well, like Paul's, to let him know. Well, Paul might Paul might need them in a moment. <laughs> I, I'd like Paul to know that everything's going to be okay and that Benny will be there for him. Do you want to you head down the stairs? Did you unlock the shining? Yeah. You get down to the bottom of the stairs. You remember hearing the shattered glass from before. You look off to the front of the to the front of the lodge. There's nobody there. There's no body of um, uh, there's no body of uh, of our good good friend All Might. <laughs> There's no Benny. There's no. There's no girlfriend. There's no anybody. Excuse me. I've there's no taken. anybody there. There's not even a dog. Like, like that movie. <clears throat> Where the taken. Fuck did they go? As you take a step away from the stairs, roll me one more time for focus, please. <laughs> Someone get Liam Neeson. That's an eighteen taken. plus six. Uh, that's twenty-four. You step Holy forward. Shit. As you do, you hear footsteps from above on the floor above. It's probably just Paul. I mean, it's probably just Paul. I mean, they seem, you know, they seem footsteppy, but, you know, he did shut himself in a room, but it's probably just him. I'm going to go back and check. <laughs> this doesn't feel right, you know, because he shouldn't be moving around if he's trying to hide. You want you want to try to go back upstairs? I mean, you you heard that yeah. you heard the glass break before, and and your your girlfriend and, and Ben isn't there. Do you want to um, go back up? Also, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's going on anymore. Ruth. And Ruth is also here. Yeah, the girl that has a crush on me. Also, Ruth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that Izzy. It's like also Ruth. Yeah, yeah. Also Ruth. Hashtag That's the also greatest. Ruth. And Ruth is also here. Hashtag <laughs> not the Ruth. Hashtag not the Ruth. Uh, what kind of role would I need to recall if this lodge has multiple step sets of stairs going up and down? I mean, you're at the stairs. I mean, I'm at the these stairs, but are there other stairs? Not that you know of, no. Fucking... <clears throat> Draco Dracneal says, Oh god, the bear is attacking Paul! <laughs> uh, you know I what? I'm gonna just block. assume Paul's safe for now, because nobody came up the stairs. I'm gonna go and check out what the broken glass was about. Alright. You'll leave Paul upstairs. You're gonna go- you're gonna head over toward the broken glass? Yep. Okay. <laughs> and I've probably killed Paul by having a reasonable protection. Stacy and Ruth. Oh shit. Yes. Stacy, you went running out after Ruth after um, uh, fi after f uh, grabbing something from the uh, from the entrance, correct? Mhm. Mm As you begin making your way out there, you're looking. You're you're looking around where where Ruth was yelling, and you just see that you just see that Ruth is like in the snow, like a little bit down from a little bit down the hill a bit, like right near where another patch of like a wooded area is, another like part of the woods. Is she is she like standing or is she like laying in the snow? What's up? Not laying in the snow. Not not fully laying, but definitely crouched down behind like a dune. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Ruth, are you okay? gonna yell it like, you're yelling it. yeah roll me luck oh my god yeah <laughs> oh my god you're going to get them killed uh, you hussy yeah you start you start yelling you're trying you're trying to you're trying to tell you're trying to get ruth's attention like ruth are you okay mm -hmm. as you are yelling this you hear a sound directly behind you <laughs> as something hits just behind where you uh, where you were just where you were just standing you look like, back to see what yeah, appears yeah. to be a slab of glass. <gasps> oh god. As if somebody has just chucked it. You look back <gasps> toward you look back toward the you look back toward the uh toward the hotel as you see what appears to be a person dressed very thickly in a in a coat, not showing their facial features at all. Oh. They have pieces of glass in their arms. What Jesus. The fuck? You just chuck glass at you. Glass thrown at you and keep it as a weapon. Could I? Do you want to try to grab at the broken glass that's in the snow? <laughs> do you have gloves? I mean, you've got big old gloves on. You so. do have gloves on. 
Yeah. You go to grab. You go to try to. Um, I try to grab the large slab of glass. It's it's pretty. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big slab of glass. You're not sure if you can use all of it. You want to try to break a piece off. Wouldn't it break when someone threw it at me? No, because it landed in the snow. Oh. The snow's pretty sure. thick. You just had a storm. Just had a storm, bruh. Mmm. Yeah, sure. All right. Roll me for your physique then, or for your mm. muscle. My muscle. Your muscle. muscle. Oh shit. <laughs> You go and you try to break off a slab of the glass as you're just like, damn, this is pretty strong glass. Just hitting it off like a door frame. I will break. Try one more time. The person is still making their way over, but they're at a they're at a pretty decent distance away. You see that okay. they have not yet pulled another slab of glass out to chuck at you. Oh my god, Stacy's gonna like try to make her way to Ruth. All right, you want to just ditch the ditch the glass, or do you want to try to break it? Yeah. Again? She's like tried to break it like three times. She's like, oh my god, it's not working. Fuck it. And then just <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> That's Fuck fair. It. You uh, you make your way over you make your way over to Ruth. You kind of slide on the dune a bit, uh, feeling feeling very cold because again, you're in a skirt. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my god. Ruth. You just got oh like god. a you just got so like a big so freaking heavy, like and there is fully snow. You just got like hole. a big, like wet, like big cold wet ass moment. It it, it sucked. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bruce, there's Damn. someone like throwing stuff at me, and they could be chasing me. And what do I do? Yeah, I know. They you were chasing Ruth me is too. Bleeding. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. Right. I should um, I should use the bandages to make sure that I uh. Oh, the ones with the antibiotics in them on yourself. Hashtag selfish Ruth. Hey, I found them. Now I'm injured. Wow, do you, you, do you want to do you want to bandage up your arm that was that was sliced into by glass? Yes, before I bleed to death. Mm. Okay, you put the antibacterial you put the antibacterial stuff on you. However, as you were doing this, Stacy, you were you were keeping a lookout over the dune. Roll me for yeah. your focus, please. Oh shit! <laughs> what is... Jesus so Christ! Christ you guys why? are fine. He's so far away. Oh my god. <laughs> The snow doesn't at all make it hard to figure out distance. <laughs> He's perfect. She's dude, it's like okay, Ruth. We have you time. have like, He's like Stacey, twenty miles away. <laughs> Stacy, you have like so much time. Like, oh my god. Like you could like do this and then leave and it's still you know be fine. What this is? This is that moment from Monty Python and the Holy Grail oh where god. the two is running at the castle. Yeah. <laughs> he, oh my god. He's always way far away and then he's just there. <clears throat> Yes. It cuts back and forth like nine times and he hasn't gotten any closer. Oh. <laughs> As Ruth, you you pull you pull off you pull off part of the jacket to get at the part that was uh, that was uh that was at, that was cut into. You take off that half of the jacket. You start like you start getting getting the antibacterial uh, stuff all over it. You tie it down. You, it, it takes you a minute to do this, but roll me for your wits while you do it. Twenty six. Well, you cover your arm with this stuff. You make sure to you make sure to rub in the juices that had been absorbed by the uh, by the uh, bandages. You're like this. This is gonna be this is gonna be fine, arm. Don't worry, arm. <laughs> <laughs> but you do all this in a in a in a reasonable amount of time as well. As you were as you were putting the uh, as you were putting the things back on, both of you, please roll me for your luck. Oh shit. Oh thank goodness. Oh fuck. <laughs> Well, as Stacy, you you look over at Ruth and you and you see that Ruth's putting like the other the other half of her jacket back on with a bit of a wincing because that did hurt. However, uh, you may you may start to get you may get a you may get a single health back uh in a little in a little while as, as you have this on you. Ooh, cool. But bit. also, how many of the bandages did I use? You used that? one use of it. Okay. Because remember, you have two uses of that. All right. All right, Stacy. I have a plan. Um, I found some s unknown sedatives in uh, the one of the bags in uh, in the shack. Ruth, earlier. I don't speak Spanish. What are you talking about? <laughs> painkillers. Oh, okay. Fucking painkillers. <laughs> okay. I found some painkillers <laughs> that I could load into a syringe. Maybe. If we put a lot of it in the syringe and then stab him, he'll stop chasing Where us. Where did you get a syringe? Ruth, what have you been doing? 
in the cabin with the medical supplies. Ruth, I think you might have a drug problem. <laughs> I briefly consider stabbing Stacy with the sedative. Well, I mean, considering stabbing Stacy is a pretty good idea. In fact, you can almost see it in front of your eyes. <gasps> As a purse, as a arm comes down on the other side of the dune, a piece of glass in hand. Stacy, you had the lower of the rolls. You get cut into the shoulder. You take one damage from this. Stacy, no. <laughs> you will take one damage from this, and your arm is bleeding as you look back and see blood on a piece of glass in the snow. Both of you look up to find this person just, again, covered head to toe in, in just, just massive amounts of coats and scarves and stuff. Can I try? This is probably going to fail horribly. Can I try and, like, is it like a hood or like a mask? What do they have on their face? Seems to be a hood on the coat as well as something covering their face. Uh, okay. Dodge, the, uh, the thing with it is no yeah. speed roll to dodge is because they didn't see it coming. And yeah. only one damage was because it wasn't, it wasn't anything like they didn't get a hor she didn't get a horrible roll for the luck. Mm. But yes. Can I try to like grab their face while shoving them being like, ah, you fucking freak, why? Roll me for focus to see if you can think to do this after just getting your shoulders stabbed into. That, that's fair. Oh, shit. You are in pain and you want to get away from this person. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you like look back, but you're just, you you don't feel good enough to reach toward this person who has glass that they're using as weapons. Ruth, you have just saw this happen. Do you want to try to do anything? Hmm. Shit. Well, I, while I was explaining my plan, was <clears throat> I like loading the syringe? <laughs> You you were getting the syringe out. You were probably you were probably like showing like this is the syringe. This is the sedative or the painkiller, whatever. <laughs> oh my god! So like you haven't loaded it yet, no. Shit. Do you want to just um, try to get away from them and try to and try to load it while you're running? Yeah, that seems like the best thing we can do now. Like bye, Stacy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I see how this is. You could also try to oh, grab Stacy's hand to try to pull her with you. But you're supposed to love Stacy. I mean, she doesn't know how she would feel. She actually loves her, but she thinks she hates her. Mm, that's <laughs> fair. She's kind of a nut job. Mm -hmm. So you want to you run off and hope that Stacy just follows you? Can I, like, run off while, like, grabbing her arm? Yes, you definitely can do that. Okay. <laughs> Roll me for your muscle. Uh, Roll me for your muscle, Ruth. Oh, fuck. You try... <laughs> I mean, it's not a horrible roll considering of a negative four. <laughs> God, oh, my God. Damn it. You try to grab Stacy, but Stacy's just like a little bit too much. As you're just like, come on. <laughs> He's like, ah! Come on, Stacy, run! Oh my god, ow, Ruth, you're hurting me! Stop! Stacy, do you want to get up? Oh god! Stacy, do you want to get up from the snow? Yes. You get up from the snow as this person is again trying to get over the little small, like, snow dune you guys are hiding behind. The both, of, like you the both of you jump up and uh, you start moving away from this. Stacy, you are clutching your shoulder as you're moving away. Mm. Blood oh is god, getting in between your perfectly manicured nails. Oh my god, no. Do you All guys right. want to try to run back toward the hotel, which means going past this person? Uh, they're on yes, a dune, okay. though, so okay. maybe you can get past them, or do you guys want to run I into the woods? I want to shove them on my way past. I feel like if we go into the woods, we're just asking to get Exactly, murdered. hotel. <laughs> Let's just try and, like, circle around him as widely as possible and get back to the hotel. No, I want to shove him. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm going to load up this syringe. Don't okay, worry cool. about it. All right, Ruth, you're going to start okay. trying to load this syringe. First things first, there are going to be a several rolls to do this while you are moving. Uh, so first uh, things first, roll me a wits while you're trying to do the first one. The chat has just fucking... Nobody look at the chat right now. <laughs> because I'm only hanging out a lot there because I'm, I'm fucking dead. I don't want you guys to be influenced by what's in the chat right now. But... <laughs> 
they they have just like pointed out that we have the fucking easiest way to kill anyone ever <laughs> and it's upsetting that none of us thought of it oh, no. <laughs> but do not look at the chat <laughs> it will not be worth it if we like even the people that can do it don't stumble onto it themselves <laughs> Dude, it's probably fucking something to do with the syringe, like just fucking not putting but it in the But as you were doing this, you got a 12 on your wits roll. You were trying to load up the syringe with the sedatives. As you guys were trying to get a, give a wide berth, Stacy, you said you want to try to shove him. Oh yeah. You get you uh, you go for you go for a little bit closer around the dune as as this person's climbing up. As they're climbing up, you you try to shove them. First roll me for your muscle. Oh shit. Do it. Oh! I think I got it! That's pretty good! That is pretty good! Let me roll their speed, please. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Ah, their speed's the same as your muscle. Oh, shit. And they fucked up! Oh, I got fucked! You go over to them, and as they're like, as they kind of stand up onto the dune, you kind of just push their legs from under them. You fucking freak cuz snow <laughs> cuz snow unfortunately this person is like a tank they're not going to like fall if you hit them with anything but snow is snow still they are on un yeah. very uneven ground you push their feet off from under them and you run run like a bitch <laughs> all right roll me for your speed okay come on don't fuck me over high stat come on yeah yeah same it's with you Ruth. go ahead and roll me a speed roll oh I have bolted off without you. Yeah, I love you, girl. <laughs> Run, bitch! <laughs> I am trying. <laughs> Freaking asthma. This is why you couldn't be on the cheerleading squad, Ruth. Okay. <laughs> yes, this, this, yeah, is the only this is the only reason why. As the person slides down the dune. Uh, uh, getting onto the ground you guys were on before. Ruth, you begin moving your way as fast as you can <laughs> back toward the resort. Stacy's jetted off like... <laughs> mm -hmm. Ruth, you look back. This person is getting to their feet. Alright. Um, did I load up the syringe? Or is it the first ending? roll you made, you were, uh, you were you were very slowly getting getting things together. You were at, you were um, uh, you were now finally able to load said syringe. You have to like you you were trying to stab into the little thing with the syringe thing while you were moving, and it was hard. And then, so at this point, roll me one more wits, please. Damn. <laughs> is, that, is that a high enough roll for her to suddenly realize it would be way more effective? To just shoot him up with air. <laughs> that would just kill no, but, him. Yeah, but Jesus, you don't know if that's the killer. He's throwing broken glass at us. Fuck him <laughs> <in the> way. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you have filled you have filled the entire thing with them uh, with the sedative. You do get the thought of, you know, maybe pumping them full of air might have been pretty might have been pretty neat, but <laughs> I thought you said I hadn't done it yet. Well, I, um, you were you were saying that you were rolling to get it in the get in the get in the syringe. Yeah. I mean, if you yeah, want, I mean, uh, go ahead and roll me luck. Go, go give me a luck roll. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was asking if twenty six was enough for her to realize before she does that. It's like I could just shoot him with air instead of sedatives. I mean, it's less. Give me, if you give me a luck roll, we'll see. We'll see if you have anything in the syringe or if anything like that. Mm. I mean, you can still do that. You can just have to get rid of everything and threaten. <laughs> mm. Luck, you got a little. You got a little bit in the syringe already, but then you just thought about it. and You're like, oh, you just kind of push it back. All right, cool. As this person, <laughs> at this point, you look back at them. They have gotten up. They have all. Um, uh, you see that the glass they were carrying is kind of in their coat at this point. Like they have fell on it. Oh, oh. fuck. This person pulls out a large slab of glass that was in their oh, coat. Uh, you see what appears to be a bit of red at the end of this glass. However, oh, they uh, look like they're about to throw it toward the two of you. And probably you, Ruth, since you are a lot slower. Yep. Shit. As this person um, is about to throw their glass, you are going to have to go against their focus roll with your speed roll. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Especially since Stacy is nowhere around to help you. <laughs> yeah, you got 
that fucking dish, bitch. Stacy's like, like eh! the distraction. <laughs> You're dead? But oh, go ahead and shit. give me a speed roll. Oh. oh. That's not super. There yeah. is still a chance that this misses you. I mean, sure, mathematically it's possible. Ruth, Ruth how much how much uh, how much health do you have right now? Um, I had two before the bandage and you mm. said it would take time for me to get my health back from that. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Oh shit. Depending on <laughs> how much this beats you, or if it doesn't beat you, then we'll see what happens. Oh my god. Well, oh. oh. That's yeah. by seven points. Mmm. Mmm. Ruth. Mm. Now, let us all remember, before Deco narrates this, that we all agreed that the first person to die would basically be receiving a badge of honor in this game. <laughs> let us remember that we celebrate death. And there's nothing wrong with it. Oh my god. Ruth. Just as you get the greatest idea to kill the bad guy in the slasher film. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You look back. You try to move forward after you see the glass. You slip slightly in the snow. Oh no. Oh my god. You take a knee as you feel glass enter your back. Oh, fuck! You're gonna take two damage. Oh! Ruth. Fucking brutal. Ruth, I need one last roll from you. Okay. This is a luck roll. Oh my god. Jesus. I have an uplifting joke if you die that may lighten the mood. <laughs> oh. Well, hopefully I will never have to hear it. I hope not. Oh no! <laughs> no! Come on, Ruth! Ruth. For those following at home, that was a five. <laughs> Ruth. You had just got the greatest tool to ever beat the bad guy. A slasher film cannot let you live. Yeah, Even if you are fair. a virgin. Oh. You look down into the snow as you see the syringe you were holding has shattered. Ah. Oh. Stacy, you hear Ruth cry out. Oh my god. I, I like, I like, <laughs> turn back to look. Stacy, as you look back, you see the, you see the person has just stabbed Ruth in the back with a large shard of glass and is directly behind her. Oh my god. I wanted to be like, Ruth, no! <laughs> like super loud, like everyone can fucking hear it. <laughs> Ruth still seems to be somewhat conscious, Stacy. The person is walking up to Ruth, very Jason Voorhees slowly. Oh fuck. What oh, do you want to do, Stacy? <laughs> oh, she's gonna run at him like a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh. She's a fucking idiot. My hero. <laughs> You're gonna oh, run. You're gonna run at the at the killer. Yeah, <laughs> you say run intensifies. <laughs> Ruth, throwing this out there. Ruth, you're crawling oh. forward as you see Stacy sprinting towards you. Uh. Oh Jesus! Uh. Save yourself! No, Ruth. No, I won't let it end this way. <laughs> I always loved you. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Ew! I thought, I thought maybe. Uh, no. You mean, you, mean like, you mean like in a sisterly way, right? No, uh, I'm sure that that that's what I meant. Oh, okay, yeah, that's okay. like really sweet, Ruth. Yes, oh my god. Okay. okay, so we're all we're all good then. Yeah. Cool. Oh my god, I'm being attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy, first off, roll me for a speed. 
Okay. Let's... Oh. Jesus. Roll for a Mogan heap. Twenty six. I'm fast as fuck. You run back. You sprint back. Are you? Go you're going to the killer, right? I'm gonna like tackle him. Oh my you're god. Try to tackle him. Stacy, you go to tackle him. Roll yes. me for your muscle, please. Oh, shit. Do it. This is where Benny oh, That's an unnat 20. It's not a nat 20. It's plus two. I said an unnat. A 20 is still a 20. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's still good. That is an unnat 20. Hmm. Stacy, you charge at this at them at this person. You throw out your arms and you plow into them. Roll me luck, by the way. Oh shit! Do it. Get right. fucked, Mason. Uh. Oh. As you jump into him, you notice that there's pieces of glass sticking out of him, and you kind of cut your arm a bit more. Shit. Can I? Can I like grab a piece of glass? Oh, you can definitely try. But first, yeah. you were on the ground with this killer. You've just taken another point of damage. Ah, oh, shit! He's oh, on the God. ground. Oh, the two of you right. slid off. The, the two of you of slid off into a tree. What are you doing? The two of you slid off into a tree. You go to grab at a piece at a piece of glass in the, uh, that is on them. Do you want to pull it out of them and do anything, or do you want to try to push it further in? What do you want to do? Fuck. Where Where is it sticking out? It is sticking out around their chest area. Which part of the chest? Any vital part? Romy Wits. Ooh. Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> you can do it. I believe no, in you. No, she can't. Oh, God. Be a moment of inspiration. Oh, God. That's a it. not one negative three. <laughs> no. Well, that's Stacy. Oh, Stacy. Wow. Push it in. It'll definitely <laughs> kill him. Uh, just kind of push it in. Roll me muscle, Stacy. Oh fuck! Come on, Stacy, do it. It'll still hurt. You go and you start pushing this thing in. You hear a you hear a moan of pain coming from this person. A manly moan of pain, mind you. Um, oh. So it's a man. Um, fucking Mason! As you're pushing this in, you're trying to get in there. You push it as far as you can. Into his, like, kind of around his stomach. Ah. Uh, like, it's, you're, I mean, it's gonna, he's him. gonna die. Like, this, oh, this is gonna kill you, son. Oh, yeah. god damn it. As you push this in, Ruth, you're still, like, kind of crawling. You, you hear, like, pain sound behind you. You heard... Stacy tackle and let out a bit of a bit of a yelp of pain. Mm. Stacy. Mm -hmm. This person looks up oh, as you're pushing this into them. Can I, can I see anything? Is their face still covered? Can I see who it is? You do not see anything. If you'd like to try to grab at the grab at the face, you can. Oh. But <laughs> I mean, God, you can Stacey. do whatever you want. <laughs> Fucking, I don't know. Permission, Pause eyes out. Permission to make one final salty comment. <laughs> what? Don't worry, Ruth. Those bandages are gonna kick in any moment now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can get fucked, Benny. Oh my god. No, I, I think you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, and that is the last I will speak Stacey, of the bandages. You have okay, several I, I, options wait, here. Can I see his eyes? You, there are eyes, yes. Can she like poke at his eyes? You have several options here. Okay. You can attempt to attack him, whether that be poking eyes or doing more things with glass or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can attempt to rip at the uh, the hood and the the thing to try to break to like try to get get more of a look at this person. You can mm -hmm. attempt to jump off of this person and maybe try to like pull Ruth with you going somewhere. Is of Ruth course, still you know alive? with your with Is your like horrible fucking muscle, with your with your amazing muscle. What am I talking yeah. about? Yeah. Okay. It's how is Ruth? Is Ruth dead? Ruth is still looking like she's moving slightly. Okay. I want to try to poke him in the eyes 
And then as he is blinded, try and run away with Ruth. Oh my All god. Alright, this is gonna be a roll to remember. Yep. I believe. Ah! Plus you bring ultra. yourself forward. You're gonna try to poke him in the eyes. Mm -hmm. Give me a muscle roll. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. Come on, you bitch. Come on, Stacy. Oh, oh, no! oh, it was a four. I'm gonna roll something that literally. I'm. Please, please get a nat one. At That's least. the only thing you guys can hope for right now. Oh fuck! What if I roll oh, my luck fuck. against them? Roll. <laughs> no, don't roll. Stacy. Mm -hmm. You go forward with your hand to try to poke them in the eye. As you do, their arm comes up and catches your hand. Oh, fuck. Bum, bum, bum. As they do this. I want to spit in their face. You, you <laughs> spit in their face. Yes. <laughs> their, their covered face. <laughs> Again, aiming for the eyes. <laughs> oh, my God. You, 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 definitely spit, you definitely spit in his face. Yes! Maybe, maybe but they're, they he's still holding on to you. <laughs> Damn it! As this is happening, <laughs> you hear a very familiar noise from this person. They do oh. something very familiar, familiarly. Your eyes go wide as you realize who this person is. <gasps> but then, they lift you up slightly by your arm and then bring you down into an embrace. A very heavy one. Oh God. As you fall onto the glass. Uh, mm. We just get that last clarity moment of, it's you! And then. Zico, can you, can you like type to me who it is? Is he don't look at my screen. <laughs> I'm I mean, pretty like... sure. I'm pretty sure if you die, Izzy's dead yeah. too. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Pretty sure. But yeah, no, Dico, fucking type. All right, me. Chad, it's up to us. And by that, I mean die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, man. We both know it's not me at this point. Come on. <laughs> do, we, do we both know that? Even yes. though it holds up perfectly. Yeah. What if there's two killers, what Chad? Isn't up in any what if? Way. There you, there, you, there you go, Carrie. Chad. I, I would have killed Paul, I damn it. I knew it. <laughs> God. I would have gone up there and bashed Paul's head in with my fucking crowbar thing. Mother wrench. Fuck. It's a wrench. But yeah, right, that's, gonna that's be... my last hit point, right? You get hugged. As you do. Hugged to death. <laughs> as you do, you cough up a bit of blood. Ruth, you hear this happening behind you. Your vision's also getting blurry. Oh my god. I just want to, dude, while I'm dying, I just want to be like, Ruth, run! Well, <laughs> that can happen, but... <laughs> Ruth, you see something thud beside of you. As mm. Stacy lands beside you. You then feel pain as the glass is ripped out from your back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was lying. I didn't love you like a sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead by this point. You're like, <laughs> I didn't hear it. I've lost a lot of blood. I'm yeah. about to die. I may as well say it. So, just for, like, fucking clarity, I died first, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you died first. <gasps> yes! Technically, technically, <laughs> Izzy died first, but you, t in character, died first. Yes, <laughs> oh, no. Hey, I'm gonna no, go no, ahead no, and no, say no, that no, as soon no, as, no, as, no, as no, soon no. as, it's, it's, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I just feel good for killing off both of something witty. So, <laughs> you're welcome. Way to go. I did, I did, I did if what, I, I did what Sword on Online couldn't witty. do. So anyway. <laughs> Yeah, before Ruth dies, she like tries to take Stacy's hand. You Stacey move your like, hand over right. to take Stacy's <laughs> hand, her bloody armed hand. Oh god. You More see like below in the snow her blood leaking and turning it into a dark red. Oh, 
Fuck. Am I still like on top of the killer? No, you just got thrown off. Okay. And is what's the killer doing now? The killer just ripped glass out from Ruth's uh, body and started walking oh, okay. forward away from the two of you. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. Well, shit, since I'm dead, I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth. Hashtag, hashtag something corpsey. Yay! Something corpsey. <laughs> Ruth, yeah, you look geez. off toward the person as they're, as they're walking away after you grab Stacy's hand. They have bl they have blood coming out from the glass that they're holding. Do you want to say anything before your vision fades away? Does Ruth uh, have any idea who it was? Roll me luck. If you find out, don't tell me. Oh yeah, that wouldn't be any fun. Oh my god! Yes, you find out. Ruth, there's something about the way this person moves, and there's something about what he does right before your vision clouds over. As you open your mouth to say something that perhaps is in the actual DVD cut of this movie, but not <laughs> in the uh, not in the theater version, so it's to keep suspense. <laughs> Get flubber truck, flubber trucker. <laughs> You see, kids, she didn't really say flubber there, there, there you go. I gave it to you as well. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> You're so betrayed. Oh. As oh. this happens. So, Ben. <laughs> <sighs> if you tell me I'm walking away from murdering those two, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're walking away from murdering those two after you took the rest of the bandages. <laughs> I'm not upset anymore. <laughs> All right, what's going on with me? Ben, you open your eyes, staring up into the trees. I'm in the forest. You still feel right, as sorry. if you only have one health. <laughs> ah. However, there is a pupper on top of you. Well, hello there, Duke. I'm glad that you're still with me. Did you pull me to safety from the bear, boy? You look yes, around. Because, see, I fell unconscious against the bear, so I have no idea we even made it back. <laughs> you look around as you notice that there are them. Uh, there appears to be cinders over by, uh, over by, uh, over by, like some sort of campfire-looking thing. I... You hear footsteps in the distance, as if somebody is either going away or coming towards you. Would you like to roll me for your focus to figure it out? Yes, and also, after I roll this, I'd like to... I got a 14. I'd like to just call out, uh, since nobody's around me, probably weekly, because I'm hurt, just... Ruth! Stacy! Chad! Have you left me alone? <laughs> Ruth and Stacy reply yes. Anyway, um... <laughs> where are you? We're dead. Also, I was gonna fucking the thing I wanted to do earlier was if you described your death and he was like you black out. I was gonna be like, and then suddenly from the darkness, light emerges in the distance. You struggle to see it for just a moment, but after several seconds, you you see the form of this light is that of a gate. It opens and a figure steps out to both you and to Stacy. A hand sta uh, raises forwards towards you, welcoming you in. You see Benny standing behind the, at the gates, behind which you see a wonderful land full of bountiful animals and mountains. Benny welcomes you to Valhalla, where you have earned your place. <laughs> Can that be candy? No, nah, I'm just killing it with Soul Reapers. Uh. <laughs> you have earned your place among your fellow warriors. Come inside. <laughs> They're not Viking and they're not Norse! Oh, sorry. He <laughs> walks back, shuts gate. <laughs> no! I guess I just. I. <laughs> so, wait, I is was... this a pre campaign to a bleach RP? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? How are they defiling our I course? was joking that, it, like, after you guys died, Benny welcomed you into the gates of Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> Fellow mean... warriors, <laughs> make <laughs> your eternal peace here. As you are laying there, you weakly called out for your friends' names. You can tell the footsteps are going away from you. Would you like to try to get up? Yes, I would. 
You start lifting yourself up. Your bare wounds still, <laughs> still stinging. You look down onto your chest as you see that, as you see that your bandages, you you have bandages. Neat. They are they are very much bled through. Mm -hmm. oh, I feel excessively bacterial. <laughs> what? Just take them off my corpse, Jesus. <laughs> If only I had a way to antibacterialize myself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so wait, okay, is Benny outside now? Benny is has awoken. Like what? Benny has awoken. Oh my god. Yes, I, I, I stand up. Um, I'm gonna... Right, am I cold? Am I really cold since I'm in the trees? You are cold, however, there is the embers of a fire near you. Um... Is there any, like, winter clothing or whatnot nearby for me to put on, like, a jacket or anything before I start stumbling out into the snow? Roll me for luck. <laughs> Someone's like, I knew Logan lied when he said he wouldn't talk about the bandages again. Look, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 25. <clears throat> you look around, you find what appears to be a coat. However, it is much too small for you. You can still wear it, but it's not going to cover your entire chest. <sighs> Okay. I'm only going to go as far enough as I can trying to follow the footsteps to get to the person, but if I feel like I'm wandering too far and I'm endangering myself, I'm going to come back immediately. You put on the coat and you start I don't to... have to put myself in any more unnecessary risk. You put on the coat. It appears to be it appears to be a woman's coat. As you, as I was dragged away by either Amanda or Miss Bodie or Stacy because I don't know the state of any of them. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> there are many options. As you place this on yourself, by the way, you do hear a noise coming from um, uh, coming from to the, uh, coming from the direction you heard the footsteps. A clamoring wood noise. You look down as you see somebody standing uh, standing just outside of your vision, as as they have dropped seemingly some pieces of wood. <gasps> Who is it? Do you want to call them to come forward? Uh, Stacy, come here! <laughs> Stacy's <laughs> rotten corpse that? comes forward. I'm kidding. <clears throat> Stacy, is that you? My vision is still a little blurry from the bear attack. Somebody steps forward. Fucking ghost Stacy just appears. I'm dead. Thanks for saving me. I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, I saved you against a bear. <laughs> I'm going to be heartbroken. I'm going to wake up there and be like, your friends are dead. Did the bear get them? No, <laughs> the bear didn't get them. <laughs> the person steps forward after retrieving their tiny sticks. As you see what appears to be Mrs. Bodie. <clears throat> walking, into, walking into frame. It's good to see that you are well, Mrs. Bodie. But I must ask. You hear yapping from, from Duke. The Duke is yapping uh, at her. Come, Duke. Mrs. Bodhi is no enemy to us, I think. You were the really scary one from before. Yes, I, I apologize again for shooting at you and breaking that window. She shakes her head. No, I, I need you. I, I can't. Not by myself. Calm down. I, like, walk towards her, put my hands on her shoulders. Take your time. What do you need? E everything... Everything. Uh, there's people started yelling, and the lights went out again. And well, and well, there was somebody going through. I ran. Everyone, if they saw me, they they they. I don't know. They just let me be. But I knew if if I if I was gonna survive, I I needed you. Hmm. Do you know where the others are? Atkin, Chad, Stacy, and Ruth were all with me before. You were. I found you at the at, at the hotel. I I I, I pulled I, I pulled you here. Ooh. Cause, cause you have to protect me. I will. Don't worry. I intend to protect everybody until help arrives and takes us away from this dreadful situation. I don't suppose you have any bandages or medical equipment on you, though. <laughs> uh, roll me for your luck Oh god, please Have bandages or medical equipment I got a 25 
I have I have a fresh thing of bandages I was going to put on you. Those Would seem to be really bled through. Yes. I think the bleeding has slowed down, but uh, these won't help me anymore. Would you like me to, to, to replace them? Please. And, well, you are. Please stay calm, take all the time you need, but try to recall everything that you can about what happened. If the murderer has shown his ghastly face, then I shall strike it down with my fist. Well, it's not me. <laughs> oh, clearly. <laughs> if you wanted to kill me, it looks like you had every chance. The only one I wanted... Let me change your bandages. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let her do that. I'm rolling focus. Go ahead. Yeah, I got a zero. Yes, I don't care about what you just said. <laughs> Seems irrelevant to the current situation. <laughs> oh wait, fucking focus is. Uh, I should have rolled wits, but it's the same number, so same result. Whatever. <laughs> yep. As <laughs> as she gets behind you and starts take and starts taking the bandages off from your too short coat. Yeah. You 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 feel you feel the bandages coming off of you, and it it, it stings as it's happening, but. As she's as she starts doing this, you, you all brought me down to, you, you brought me down to to see my my husband, and I, I, was, I let after that, <laughs> I, I fell asleep, and when I woke up, you had all left for some reason. Everyone was still talking, and they seemed like nobody noticed that I was awake yet. The the lights went out again, and everyone started clamoring around. That was when... That was when a man came in. Someone came in and... Well, I don't know who it was, but... There was only two other people in the room with me at the time. One of and them... who were they? One of them died. <gasps> the, the, the policewoman... She tried to hit the person, and he just took it. He just he just didn't do anything about it, and then he just he he had a, a knife and stabbed her through. Mandy. I I, I, I kept sure laying down. She died. I kept just laying down. The the other boy he he ran off. And this all happened while we were gone. Mm. That really only leaves one person, doesn't it? After a moment, I, I, I got up from everything after they had left, and I moved the officer to where I was so that people might think that I was still there. And then I went into the woods. I, I, I ran off into the woods so that I wouldn't have to worry about anything. And then I saw a bunch of things, and it was a long, there was howling, and I didn't like it. So then I waited for you to return, but you were on a sled. <clears throat> well, once we get me bandaged up and I'm in a better situation, then we can return. I believe, given the information at hand, that I know who is the killer. Re return? We, we don't I... have to return. I apologize, Miss Bodie, but if, if Ruth and Stacy and Chad are back there in danger, then I feel obliged to go back. We have everything we need right here. We even have a dog. And I will leave Duke with you. Oh. <laughs> Duke is still, like, kind of yapping at her a bit. Like, I don't like her. I don't want her. <laughs> Duke, please. She's been through some things. <laughs> and some stuff. And some stuff. <laughs> You, you, sh it. you yeah. shouldn't leave. You're not well. No, Mrs. Bodie. It is this killer who is not well. Do you... Which is why I must punch him. Do you... Do you... Do you hate killers? <clears throat> I mean... Morally... I guess it really depends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't approve of it, if that's what you're getting at. 
<laughs> you see, every time one of the people that has hurt themselves because they thought about competing with me or ended up in the hospital or died, I always did my best to make sure they were comfortable. I'd send flowers or pay for their medical bills as much as I could. I I've seen a lot of people hurt just by daring to compete with me. And over time, though I've realized it's not my fault, I've developed a sympathy for people in pain, you see. I can't bear to see it, thinks back to the bear and protecting the others. Well, if the others are in danger, it may be because they're around me and my peerless, lucky streak of luck. You you shouldn't must... go back, though. What if, what if, what if by chance, by, what if he wasn't the only one there by chance? You'd be on outnumbered. Mrs. Bodie, there is no chance involved. In the luck of Lucky Benny. <laughs> also, are you getting at that you killed your husband? Because I'm, I'm sort of picking that up. No, this. I didn't. I didn't kill. No, I, I didn't kill him. I didn't. I didn't do that. I, I've never killed anyone. If you did something, you need to tell me, Miss Bodie. Uh. I want to say it again, but you're just going to get a really good roll again. Roll me for your luck. <laughs> Should have made a charisma roll. <laughs> Shut up. 25. I'm getting all kinds oh, of 25s, man. <laughs> she looks to Please. you. Uh, I'm, 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 I might have, might have asked someone to. And who is it that you You don't asked? understand, all right? He was... He was horrible. He was a horrible man. You don't understand. Benny's. Nobody understands how, how, how bad he was. He was... He, you, you saw the other woman, right? That, 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 that other woman, that, that woman, that one. Clarissa. Yes, he was the entire time. He didn't even, he didn't even hide it. He didn't even hide it. He didn't even hide it. You Before... see, this is why you never should have gotten involved with Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> before, but seriously. Before coming here, um, before coming here, he, he told me that, he told me that, this was the end for us. Even though... Even though the relationship was horrible from the beginning, he was just gonna toss me aside and I had nowhere else to go. So I had... asked somebody from the resort to help me. Was it Etkin? He was going to help me kill him. Tell me. Do you think that it's Etkin that's currently running wild? The, the man who showed up against that woman? The officer was, was not him. So there's a second one. Well, do but, you believe that Etkin would be dangerous if we confronted him about this? But one last thing. The one that killed the other woman, I'm sure it was him. They both died very differently. My husband and that woman. Hmm. Interesting. This is why you should stay here. There are two psychopaths up there. There's only one here. And... <laughs> I'm playing. I don't say that. There's only one here. That, that was a joke. Um, there are two Miss psychopaths Bodie. up there. As things are right now, I do not judge you for what you did. 
Maybe I will later, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm, not, I'm deciding not to right now for the sake of surviving this. Do you agree that it is more important to survive this and make it out than it is to point fingers right now? Oh, definitely, wholeheartedly. Good. In that case, stay here with Duke, be safe and warm. I will be returning, and I will be putting an end to these psychopaths one way or another for the sake of my friends. But what if I... But, but, but what if I... What if you don't come back, though? I can't survive without you. You've survived a lot already today, Miss Bodie. I feel like you might be fine. You can come with me if you want to. But I would not ask you to do that. She looks to you and she just kind of shakes her head. She's she's too afraid to return. Do you have anything else that might help me? You found wood. Do you have like maybe a little axe or something that you used to cut it? I all like the little pieces axes. Of wood, all the pieces of wood you see seem to have been broken off branches. Do you, you want to try to take one of the larger of the branches? I suppose I'll try to take one of the thicker branches. You take one of the thick branches from Mrs. Bodie, as she hands to as she hands to you this branch. It is it is rather sturdy. It's not gonna it's, you know it's not gonna win any rewards for best stick ever, but you know it's pretty good. <laughs> well, if this is the best I have, it's the best I have. I need some clothes. I need I need heavier clothing though. That I will probably freeze if I try to go back like this. I don't have anything but the clothes on my back. Do you feel, do I feel like I could make it back to the lodge with what I have on right now? You don't even know where the lodge is. <laughs> Which way is the lodge, Miss Bodie? <laughs> she points, she points, uh, she points off to the north. I see. How far? I, not far. Just out of do sight. You... Do you think that I could make it back like this? Totes. <laughs> All right, good. As long as I have your confidence. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to return to settle things. I look at the stick in my hand, up to the north, back to Miss Bodie, to the stick in my hand, and then finally up to the sky. With all three of them. <laughs> I start walking. <laughs> Rad Chad. Yeah, that's me. Y'all better find a knife. I'm Hopefully coming for you. Hopefully this time I don't get... I'm coming for you. <laughs> Do I recover any health because of the bandaging? Uh, no. <laughs> Damn it. Because they weren't die. antibacterial bandages. We're all probably gonna die. Oh. You'll be fine, just don't get hit. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Rad Chad, you made your way off into the other room as you see just the fluttering curtains and a broken-as-fuck window. You look down to the ground as you see what appears to be a little bit of blood just on the ground over where the glass had fallen. Fuck. Also, you notice the body count is different. You look down and you see what appears to be Officer Mandy. Damn. Yeah. Um, well, since I think that she's an officer, I'm going to go ahead and see if she has a gun or something I can use. No gun, and also no taser for some reason. I don't even know if I knew she had a taser. <laughs> I, I think it was, it was searched officer. earlier, unfortunately. Hmm. You well, do look around the room as you do as you look around the room you notice that Paul's laptop is still here however it seems to be broken. Damn. <clears throat> Something happened and I don't like what happened. Probably going to look out the window. You look out the window, you see several you see several footprints in the snow. You also see tiny droplets of blood. Um, where the fuck is Etkin? 
You want to go look for him? No, I'm probably going to have to run to the front door. Because if there, if there are multiple footprints and blood, something good did not happen. You want to go to the front door? Yes. You start making your way to the front door. As you do, roll me focus. At the 16. You hear glass shattering from the second Not floor. Again. God damn it. As you hear glass shattering from the second floor, you notice the glass falling in front of in front of the in front um, in front of the um, the lodge, the front door. Do you want to head to the door or do you want to head to the stairs? Got to go up the stairs. You start heading up the stairs as you do. Let me one more focus to see if you hear something. Oh, no, nope. come on. You're fine. That one. What the? Fuck? You make your way up the stairs as you do. You notice what appear. You notice what appears to be a person standing at the very end of the left hall. Hall. However, the door that Paul went in is open, if you want to look inside. Um, somebody at the hall, glass shattered, Paul's door opened. Fuck. I'm going to go ahead and get my, um, get my wrench out, because I feel like something bad's about to happen. You pull I'm out your wrench. Peek, I'm going to peek into Paul's, into the room Paul went into real quick. The window is shattered. There's no glass on the inside, so the shattering had to go from had to go outwards. Mm-hmm. Also, this is your room, by the way. <laughs> oh shit. Why I is broke it my the fucking room? window, man? Fuck. You look down the hall at the person who's just kind of standing there. You notice they have something in their hand that's kind of glinting. <gasps> From the basic shape of them, I'm pretty sure it's probably not going to be Paul, is it? <clears throat> a little bit bigger than Paul. Paul, oh, no. Edkin? I mean, who's to say, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's going to call out. You say this as footsteps happening forward seem to, seem to come. They also, seem to, they also seem to they also seem to pocket on. whatever that thing is they were holding with a glint. Master Chad. Get... Dude, like shit's going on. I think there's a fight out front. I don't fucking know. Glass shattered. There's blood. Yes, I heard the shattering Holes. of glass. I came out from my hiding spot. Paul went into my room, I guess. I don't know what the fuck happened to him now. But, like, we gotta go see what's going on, dude. Agreed. If that, if the glass shattered, perhaps, some, perhaps something is down below. Like the... Like, where all the bodies are, that glass is... Never mind, let's... Come on, we gotta go. Did you go to the other body room? Was everybody th was everybody still there? I went immediately to the kitchen when we returned. No. The officer's dead. I don't know where Miss Bodie went. Mm. I don't know where the girls went either. Ugh. Did you ever figure out the the scream from before, the manly scream we had heard? Pretty sure that was Paul. And let us go downstairs. So, yeah. It's looking like the only other, like, whatever's happening, it's either because of Miss Bodie or Mason. Mason, so you were with seemed, us at Mason the... seemed like he was sick the entire time, didn't he? Yeah, but who fucking knows? Come on, let's go. Mm. And he's going to turn and go back down the stairs. He's just going to assume Paul's just hiding. You're going to turn and go back down the stairs? <laughs> yeah. This is Edkin. We trust Edkin. 
Yeah, we trust Edkin. <laughs> <laughs> Chad. Frankly, I don't trust anybody in that hallway. You get onto like... you get onto the stairs as you start going down. If it's like if he's a murderer and there's another murderer, why would he do anything to me? You feel pain, Chad. <laughs> Bro. No. You feel pain, Chad. You no. feel a decent bit of pain, Chad. Oh, God. As gonna, something stabs into just below your shoulder blade. You're dead, Chad. Chad. I'm probably dead. Something stabs into roll? your back. Please take two damage. I had two damage before. Oh. Something stabs into you. As you look back, you see Etkin. He puts a foot forward and pushes forward with his leg. I want to swing my wrench at him. You can definitely do that. You just got stabbed, but you're still conscious, buddy. The, the, the knife still is conscious. not gone. <laughs> the knife is still in there. You're not bleeding out. It just hurts a lot. Make sure he lets go of it, keep the knife, then give it to me so I can kill you. <laughs> you see Etkin as you just see a look on his face of just sheer delight. Just a smiling face as you turn. As You turn. You have the wrench in hand. Roll me muscle against his speed. Come on. Come on, this has to work. Unfortunately, dude, like if you don't know it's coming, it does max damage. I'm sorry. Come on. 17. Not just 17. I mean, not just 17. His speed is not great. We've seen this. He was hiding his actual speed, but his speed is still not great. Oh. Why? Why is this a thing? That was an unnat 20. <laughs> Why do you do this? You're a fucking idiot. You swing forward. As you do this, he ducks and pushes you down the stairs. You go tumbling down. You're a fucking douchebag. As you tumble down, you let that out. You land on your back on the ground as the knife stabs even further in. Okay, New American Jake. You'll never see it coming. If you, d I'm so sorry, Emerald. If you don't know it's coming, it does max damage. I mean, I'm if so I sorry. were this dude, I wouldn't have done this. Why would I just kill somebody when there's obviously some other fucking killer? Because he likes killing I people. <laughs> God damn. Because he's a hired killer and he likes killing people. I'm Especially you Especially guys, you since guys. he's had to wait hand and foot on all of you. <laughs> Damn. I mean, if I were him, I would have let Nathan take the fall, because he's obviously doing some fucked up shit. He, he probably still will. <laughs> You're the only one that knows that he's... Actually, no. Technically, technically there is still two people who know he's a murderer. <laughs> mm -hmm. As you hit the ground... Your eyes seem to cloud over. An unknown amount of time goes by as you hear footsteps all over the place. You hear a, something happening from behind you. Benny! Where am I? You rushed back toward the hotel. As you did, you looked outside. You seen outside as there's a body laying outside in the snow you look at this body as you see what appears to be Paul laying in the snow <gasps> just Under underneath Chad's room from a broken window no Paul you make, you make your way over to Paul I, I grab him I check to see if he has a pulse even though I know that he probably doesn't, even though I know he's probably dead. You make your way over to Paul, and... Do, 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 do. He's humming. He's okay. He's breathing. <laughs> he's breathing. 
He rolled a 17 he's on his luck. He's still breathing. Paul! He Paul, stay be, with me, boy. He seems to be knocked out. <sighs> you see that there is a steady stream of blood coming down from his hair. <gasps> You've been struck in the head. Or cut in the head. Either way, your head is hurt. Does he look like he's going to bleed out if he's left the way he is? No. It's a ste it's a steady stream, but it's not a big it's not a big wound. I need to get him inside, but that's where the killers are. But he can't be left out here in the snow. I'd like to pick him up and I'd like to get him inside if I could. Um, maybe like tuck him away somewhere warm if there's like a side shed or if there's or if there's anything I can do. I'd like to. You begin dragging him to the front. You pick him up in your arms. Roll me for your muscle. I'll roll you for my muscle. I'll show you what kind of muscle the proud Harklin family. You don't need has. a high roll. It's it's Paul. It's you needed a little bit more than that. But I mean, we probably needed more than that. <laughs> you're you're dragging Paul in there. Maybe it's your wounds, but you're just like I can't actually pick you up though, Paul. I'm sorry. sorry, boy. But consider this: when I'm beating on whoever did this to you, at least I got that four out of a uh, two out of my system. <laughs> As you bring him inside, you're at the entranceway. As you see Chad laying at the b base of the stairs. <gasps> is he? Is he dead? Do you want to tuck Paul away into the side and go over to see Chad? Because again, yes. Paul isn't looking like he's going to bleed out yet. I, I would like to. I would like to tuck Paul away. He's he's tiny. He helped me. I want he. He was like the first person that was like I know things. He's a good boy, this Paul. <laughs> You make your way over toward Chad after tucking him away. Chad, you have no vision, but you feel someone touching you. Paul, Paul, Paul. Paul, Paul. I mean, sorry, Chad, Chad. <laughs> Chad, Chad, Chad. Fuck. Chad, you hear Ben. I hear Ben. If I'm going to help you, Chad, I need to know one thing from you. Can you hear me? Can, can, can you hear me, Chad? Can I hear him? Yes. Did uh, you kill anybody? No. Etkin. Etkin. Have you seen Mason? I'm just, I'm keeping my voice down, by the way. Have you seen Mason since you've been here? No. Window. Broke. Girls missing. Yes. Hopefully they're somewhere safe. Hopefully they're somewhere safe. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Can I help him? Does it look like there's anything I can do for him? Is he gonna die? You'll see a large pool of blood below him. Chad, I, I have basically no medical knowledge. I, I, I don't, I don't know if I can help you. It's fine. Take the wrench. He, he wrench uses the last there. of his strength to lift up this this large wrench he is keeping in his hands. I Get take him the close. wrench. Yes, Chad, you are. He, like, looks away for a second, closes his eyes, trying to stifle a tear. You were a radical dude, <laughs> Chad. Chad, dude. <laughs> wow. As he says, Chad, dude, you hear the last of his life inching out from the Chad, dude. As, his, as he finishes those words, he... Turns his head to the side. His eyes close. You can rest now. Your vengeance will be most righteous. It's funny because it's uh, for lingo and also exactly proper. I do comedy. He's gonna have his thumb up. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> When the rigor mortis sets in, people are going to wonder why you were thumbs up. Is, is he on the stairs? 
He was at the bottom of the stairs. He died as he lived, soaring towards the bottom of a slope. <laughs> Shy. <laughs> I stand. Atkin! Are you in here? I know what you've done, Atkin. Come and face me like a man. Don't hide like a mouse. As you begin yelling in here, Roll me for your focus. Damn it. Say luck. <laughs> I rolled 18. That's I a nat, nat 20. Hey. Because you have a negative two. That's a nat 20, dude. You hear footsteps in the snow coming from behind outside. You look back as you see what appears to be a man dressed head to toe in winter gear. Moving very slowly toward the hotel. A large piece of glass sticking out from his stomach. Oh. That does not look oh. like Etkin. In that case, I step out towards him. Mason! The person stops. They pull their scarf down from their face. As you see, sick-looking Mason staring back at you. Why, Mason? He brings his hands down to the glass sticking out from his stomach as he looks back at you. I was... Hungry. You didn't bring me any soup. <laughs> wow. You do look at his <laughs> face as you stove. see what appears to be red around his mouth. No fucking way. Dear you see God. red around his mouth. Dripping. As if it's fresh. My holy What have you done, Mason? Who have you hurt? He starts again, steadily walking toward the hotel. He brings his hand down toward the glass that's coming from his, coming from his stomach as he slowly pulls it out. I grip the wrench. Filled with rage. I go after him before he can get in any kind of first attack, aiming for his head. You rush forward, wrench in hand. He still hasn't fully pulled the glass from his stomach yet. You rush just as you get to him, he pulls the glass out, but you are in the perfect position to strike first. Roll me for a muscle. Plus the wrench, which is a plus two. Yeah, okay. This is for my friends. I got a 14. <laughs> He's going to roll his speed, which at this point in the game is not good because he's been stabbed through the fucking stomach. <laughs> Still might though. It's actually a straight D20. <laughs> Ten. I win. You go Yay. forward with the with the wrench. You plow it into the side of his face, knocking him flat on the ground. As he takes this, he just puts out an arm to catch himself onto the ground. You see, you see blood from his stomach wound leak onto the ground, coating blood onto the snow. You see him reach to said snow and actually take a bit in his fingers and eat it. Oh, God. Oh my God. You're still over him with the wrench. I'd like to smash him in the back of the head with it. This goes beyond murderer. 
You bring down your wrench one final time if you get the good roll. <laughs> roll me for your muscle. Fucking... They were okay. Oh, I did. That wasn't plus two. So oh, that that was a, yeah, a well, the plus two, that's a 17. You bring it down. Hitting him in the back of the head with the large wrench. A splatter of blood coming from his head. As you knocked off the hood. He still seems to be somewhat moving. He's let go of the he's let go of the glass that he had in his hand. You I'm see that gonna... he's trying to get back up. What is this guy fucking made out of? He's gonna be made out of wrench in a second. We're gonna <laughs> keep hitting him. Man, there were pancakes that he could have easily eaten. There was a whole smorgasbord. That me and Edkid made. Fucking. Should I do another muscle? Do you want to hit him with the wrench, or do you want to stab him through with the with the um, uh the uh, glass? I'd like to stab him through. You pick the glass up from beside of him as he's still trying to get up. You take the glass in your hands. You, I don't believe, are wearing any uh any gloves. No, it but it'll hurt me like. You'll be fine. Like don't worry about it. No one dies from fucking having their hands cut. <laughs> As you grab the uh, as you grab the glass, you stab downwards into him from behind. Roll me luck. This is for the girls. I got a nat one. <laughs> wow! He fucking got a nat wow. one. Great. You stab down with this to give the killing blow. It's unfortunately a lot harder than you thought it was going to be to maneuver the glass with your bare hands. You feel it kind of cut into the palms of your hands as you push downward. Mason still just kind of like is trying to get up, but you see him flop himself down into the snow eventually. You look down at your hands as they are bleeding. But as you're doing this, you're what you look off toward the direction that Mason was walking from before because he was shuffling in that direction. As you see what appears to be something laying in the snow off in that direction. So is, is he moving at all? He does not appear to be moving anymore. Does he appear to be breathing? Very harshly. As if he's gasping for breath. Can I make a focus check from here to see if I can tell what the what the things that I already know what they are are? <laughs> Roll focus, see if you can tell what they are from here. I got it. I got it. Five. No, you can't. <laughs> it's hard to see in the snow. Oh. I'm gonna walk over towards them. You step over. This person. I'm going to step on him <laughs> as I go over. Hell yeah. Step on him. As you walk off toward this person or whatever's laying in the ground, you find Stacy and Ruth. Mm. You also see what appears to be a small puddle of blood beside them with a bit of a chunk of it taken out. You sick cannibal fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically speaking, he only ate the snow. He didn't bite into their flesh. Yeah. So. He just wanted the soup, man. All he wanted was the red I soup. Would, I would say consuming human blood is going to put him on the cannibal spectrum. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... Yeah. Does... Oh, I can't believe I'm about to say this. <laughs> oh, shit. You do know, like by the way, bandages. you do know, by the way, that whenever you and Ruth went up the mountain, you found you found the Duke's uh, medical pouch. I'm going to search them for bandages and such and probably oh. kill for her bandages. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me. You're a monster. <laughs> you start searching what? Ruth for bandages. You find what appears to be a set of normal, everyday bandages, and what appears to be bandages that are soaked with something. I'm going to bind myself up real good. 
With which ones? The dry bandages or the soaked bandages? The soaked ones that probably smell like alcohol. <laughs> wow. Fucking Mason motherfucker. Do you wanna do you wanna use the other bandages on your hands? Yes. Please tell me I recover a point. <laughs> oh god. I mean, like I, Ruth, man, I, they, it takes a minute. Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna go fucking wait until I feel like I'm a bit better then. I know that it's not like the rage fucking berserker thing to do, but I have one help, it's Edkin! <laughs> oh god. I am gonna keep, I'm gonna wrap myself in these things, bind myself up, like treat the deepest of the wounds with the antibacterial ones. Um, I got two sets of bandages wrapped around me. I am being held together like a mummy. <laughs> I'm gonna keep an eye on Mason while I do all of this. <laughs> so you're gonna try to wait out here for a little bit? Yes, I'm probably also gonna take any relevant gloves or whatnot that I can that might fit me off of. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and take anything you want from their bodies. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> I don't listen. You can take Stacy's they... skirt if you want to as well. I mean, that seems like a really good battle skirt. Can I? You're probably not I even on. Can yeah. I? You know what? <laughs> you know what? What? Dog. So bear with me here. <laughs> I am, in fact, going to rip off a chunk of Stacy's skirt. And while waiting for my healing to kick in, I am going to soak it in some of the blood, <laughs> go back to Mason, and I am going to shove it down his throat. Whoa. Well, damn. You head over to Mason God. to shove the blood-soaked rag down his throat. Fuck him. I hope you enjoy the taste. Whenever you got to so Mason, he really wasn't breathing that much in that much anyway, because you've been waiting here. I, I don't care. You shove you shove it down his throat. Choke on the blood that you so desperately wanted and die. Jesus. Mason. Yeah, I'm really upset about this. Yeah, fuck. Everyone's dead. Of course, I'm upset. <laughs> I would like to mention that being that I have matches in my pocket, just saying. Do you want to? Do you want to, you want to make your way in? Do you want to make your way back into the hotel and try to search him for matches? Um, maybe once I heal, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you were completely adamant about staying out here until you heal back a health, correct? Hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> About 15, 20 minutes go by. A gust of wind could kill me, Deco. <laughs> oh my god. As you're sitting here, you watch You watch over Mason's body, make sure he's not getting up. You watch over the other bodies, make sure they're not getting up. <laughs> and as you do all of this, you feel yourself getting a bit of a second wind. You look back at your wounds beneath the bandages as you feel like they are they're they're cleaner than they were before when the bear hit. They they feel a little bit better, the pain's a little bit gone. As you look off toward as you look off toward the the hotel, please recover one hit point. That's good. All right, oh, cool. Thank God. I'm going to with my wrench. <clears throat> I'm going to Also, can I take that like big piece of glass with me too, the one that's the one that's sticking out of his body. You felt that the you felt that it broke whenever you pushed it in. Okay, I'm just gonna take my wrench then. Mm -hmm. I'm going for Etkin. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna search for him. First, I'll check on Paul, and then I'm gonna continue and search. See, for there's Etkin. a problem with that. <laughs> I figured this was gonna happen. You go back inside, and as you do, you see that Chad has been moved around, and there appears to be something. That woman, uh, his his wound appears to be kind of a, looking a little fresher, as if somebody returned and gr and got what he had stabbed him with. You also He's look around to where body. you put where you had put Paul, and Paul is missing. I didn't realize that it was still in his body. 
Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a missed opportunity. <laughs> so I mean, he could have told he could have told you what happened to him, but he didn't do it. So he didn't. That's true. I <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't hear the part where he. I thought he just stabbed me, pulled it back out, and pushed me. I didn't actually know. No, like I like I said, when you turned me. around, like the 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 blade was still in there. You haven't bled out. Like you can definitely hit him again, and you know, then you fell. All right. Uh, I was gonna... too focused on. But no, it's it, fine. Is there a trail of blood? Yeah, there's no need to verify fault on this. Yeah, there's no fault. There's no fault part. at all. That's just how. Um, this, is, this is again how things how these things work. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's a, a trail of blood leading from where Paul was because Paul was bleeding. It's really dark in here, unfortunately. The lights have not been turned back on. Go ahead and roll me for a focus. All right, here goes one of my worst stats. Here we go. That's that's control F. That's not what I wanted. Focus. I got a. Oh, I don't have anything yet. I got a, a, a three, which made a one. It's not that one, but it's a one. Unfortunately, like it's is... too dark in here to see any sort of any sort of thing. Perhaps if you had Stacy's phone. Perhaps if I had Stacy's phone. Should I mm -hmm. go get Stacy's phone? I'm gonna go get Stacy's phone. You wanna go get Stacy's phone? I'd, li I'd like to go get Stacy's phone. <laughs> you bitch. You make your way back out. Be sure making sure to step on Mason again as you do. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You make your way over to Stacy. You check you check her coat and you find her phone. Alright, going back, turn the light on, give it another look, see. <laughs> Before I would have had others do this for me, but those who are better at it are gone now. <laughs> as you look forward, you shine your light down onto the ground as you notice that a trail of blood does lead somewhere. It seems to go down into the basement. I fucking knew it would be the basement. I'm going after him. You make your way through the hall, which I will now show because I keep forgetting to uh, to show the things. It was still on the outside. <laughs> and then you go to the basement, which I actually have a thing for now. You know, pretty neat. Yay. I'm going to die. The killer's going to get away. I'm going to die. You make your way down into the basement. You seem to follow the trail of blood, except... Looking down at the blood, it seems to go off in three directions. Luckily, you can see two of those directions just with your eyes, as the blood seems to just be pulled around and kind of just surrounding nothing. At least, at first sight, it seems like nothing. You look off toward the first trail of blood as you see what appears to be a body lying on the ground. Does the body look like Paul's, or is it someone else's? You get. You want to get closer to it? Yes. You see what appears to be the bodies of both Clarissa and Mr. Bodie laying underneath a tarp. You look off in the other direction where the other one was headed. You see what appears to be another tarp and what appears to be another body sticking out, a hand sticking out from it. Do you want to look at that one? I would. You see Officer Mandy. I'm so sorry, Amanda. The final trail of blood seems to lead off toward the very end of the basement. You see what appears to be Paul as you get closer. Leaned up against the basement walls, right below where the circuits have been severed for the electricity the basement is still a little open so going all the way over there may be a thing you want to roll me for your focus and see if you can see if anybody around is sneaking up on you or anything I got an 18 that's a nat 20 again that's a nat 20 that's a nat fucking 20 you look around as you are doing this you look all over the basement 
you realize if this person had enough time to set this up, then they're probably not here. You don't hear anything. You don't see anyone. You make your way over to Paul, feeling completely fine about putting your back wherever you want it. Paul does still appear to be somewhat breathing. However, the blood has now changed where he was at. It's no longer at his head. He appears to also be bleeding from his arms. As if he has been freshly stabbed. This was Etkin, wasn't it, Paul? You see that his eyes are somewhat open, but does not appear to have any sort of cohesion to them. He appears to be somewhat conscious. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to snap him back into reality. I'm gonna try to get his attention, see if he can speak. Just, like, give him light taps on the side of the face. Not, not, not anything slappy. Just Roll me for your wits. Like... All right. I got zero. You're trying to snap him back to back to something. He's just kind of, again, just his eyes are barely open. You can see that he's conscious. He's breathing somewhat. He doesn't look great. You want to try to find something around here to, to maybe seal up the, the new wounds on his arms? Do I have any excess bandages I don't need, the non-bacterial ones? You didn't use much on your <laughs> arms, but let's go ahead and see how much you have left. Go ahead and roll me for your, uh, roll me for your luck. Okay, I got a, a nat 20. You nat have 20. plenty of bandages left to get, to get him with. You just put like a thin layer on your hands from the from the uh, right. from the uh, glass. All right, I'm going to treat him. I'm going to wrap up all his wounds. You wrap up his wounds and you let him lay there. As this happens, you see the window of the basement seemingly open with a bit of a crack. It opens and it opens enough that the window frame itself seems to break off the hinges. You look for a moment as you did see with that pretty freaking nice focus from before that there was an arm that came in and pushed it down. Whoever did that is outside. Too scared to confront me, Etkin. You seem to have no problem attacking women and children. And Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking betrayed, man. And Chad. I'd like to look around, because I got that really high focus check. Is there anything in the basement that could constitute a weapon? Like, a better weapon than a wrench? Uh, other than the wrench in your hand, go ahead and roll me for your... You know, you had a pretty good focus roll. Roll me a luck. Roll me one more luck. I was going to say, because I've collectively in this basement rolled... Um, uh, it's a 15. Uh, a nat 20 on luck and focus, so... You look around trying to see if you can down. find anything else that could possibly be anything. Looking around, unfortunately, you can't find any type of weapon that would be better than your uh, than your um, uh, than your wrench. However, you do find something that is slightly concerning. There's gasoline on the ground. You find a case. The case is seemingly open, like the little things on little latches have been opened. You go to the case and lift it up as you see what appears to be a place that could easily fit a gun. Ah, uh, yes. A hired killer has a firearm. Okay. Do you want to try to go up from the window like he wanted you to, or do you want to try to go back around? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I'd like to go up to the window. <laughs> I just love how you just oh roll for them. Like, God. I'm going to do the stupidest thing if I roll low. <laughs> you make your way to the window. You pull yourself up through it, making your way out into the snow once again. You look up from this side. You can see the mountain 
You see the ski slopes. You see what appears to be a person walking in the snow away from the hotel. Just as you get out from there, however, the person seemingly turns around towards you. You see Etkin holding a gun. Is he within speaking distance? Like, could I yell at him? He is still within speaking distance. He seems to be beckoning you toward him. I'm going to slowly go towards him and go with him. If this is like... You know what? I'm, I'm going to withhold the theory that I have right now, just in case it's correct, because that would kind of take the wind out of the sails. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna follow him, holding on to my wrench. I mean, if he wanted to kill me right now, he'd kill me. Welcome, Master Benjamin. I see that you are still well. As well as I can be. Sorry, I heard you speak to me a moment ago. I had already made I had already started to make my way this direction. Would you like to repeat what you said? Are you too scared to confront me, Etkin? You have no problem attacking women and children. And Chad. <laughs> yes, Master Chad, that was something of a well accident he seemed to have heard me attacking young paul i didn't want him to put two and two together that would be unfortunate you know what i mean especially once the authorities came up to rescue us however you master benjamin I don't have to kill you. And what makes me different, exactly? <laughs> it's a lot more believable if I have a second opinion, don't you think? That someone else did all of this? I have yet to fire this weapon, and most of everything can be blamed on that other person. The other one killing everything, correct? Mason. <laughs> Who I have already dealt with. Ah, so you did take down the monster. Very good, Master Benjamin. Sorry if I don't trust you right now. The gun is still necessary until the authorities arrive. But, I'm not sure. If I were to kill you right now... He kind of just, like, looks to you. Tossing you down this tossing you down the slopes doesn't seem like a bad way to deal with you. Why go th Why be this excessive? You tell me that it's because you didn't want anyone catching on to you. But you could have hidden. You didn't have to kill after you came back with us. We would have stumbled onto Mason. You wouldn't have been suspected of anything. <laughs> if trying Unfortunately, to my that... job was not done. This man, Mason, he was the one that, def that killed Mr. Bodie? Unfortunately, that was my target. I was unsure if he was going to continue to act or not. And unfortunately, I had already taken things into my own hands the night before. The woman, Clarissa. He starts walking around. Kind of giving you a wide berth, walking toward the other side of the hotel. Still pointing the gun at you. She unfortunately found out about who I was. 
a previous client. Rich people, am I right? <clears throat> oh, I guess I shouldn't say that to you. The athlete who's all of his... <laughs> all of his competitors mysteriously disappear. Tell me, how is it you do that? One professional to another. It seems I bring about the misfortune of others. So I guess the boasts of luckiest man alive are really true, then. No. I wouldn't say so. And why is I that? I take a step forward. You see, I put a lot of thought into this, Etkin. Especially very recently. I take one more step forward. He's still kind of giving you a bit of a wide berth. He then just ha he has the gun pointed directly at you. I'm walking straight at him, slowly and meticulously. In the beginning of my career, I would rejoice thinking that it was my own luck pushing me forward, Edkin. I take another step forward. But as time went on and as more and more people got hurt because of my luck, it started to make me think differently. A step forward. As you people. step forward, he points the gun down towards your feet and he lets loose a shot. A bullet goes directly in front of you, in front of your toes. I would keep a distance, Master Benjamin. But please continue. I began to think differently. Because it seems like I'm not the one who's lucky. It seems to me that when others get involved with me, Etkin... I take a step forward. He points his gun directly at you. Last they... Morning. They become unlucky. Oh, fuck. Luck works both ways, Master Benjamin. Luckiest man alive could mean two completely different things. I'll have you think about that before you decide to, mark, to march forward again. At this point, you guys are standing at a way where he is... He has moved from the slope side to kind of par a parallel with you. You're both like on either side of the hotel staring back toward each other. You have moved forward a little bit. You have made your way about half the distance. At this point, he is at the side of the hotel. We could end things now. You could go and collect my client. And we can all have the same story. I'm sure that she would be perfectly reasonable with that. And you can still be a hero. Someone who took out a monster up here on the mountain. Last warning, Mr. Benjamin. He drops the master entirely. You seem to be under the impression that if you shoot me, you have an airtight alibi. I wonder what gives you that confidence. I wonder what makes you think that there aren't other clues left behind. <laughs> I wonder what makes you think that I haven't already taken care of that. <laughs> what does it you mean? Just what is it that I mean, Atkin? Pull that trigger and you won't know, will you? He points the gun forward. Tell me what you mean, Master Benjamin. Why don't you roll me for a focus really quick? That was a three. That was on that one. You look forward as you see what appears to be a small shadow on the opposite side of the hotel, but you do not know what the shadow is or what it could be. Ah, fuck, it could be Paul. Uh, I think I know what it is, but it could also be Paul. You can bring attention to it because it is behind him, or you could not. It's time to see. 
it's time to see if I really am lucky or if I'm just the source of other people's lack of luck. You will tell me what you mean, Master Benjamin. He takes a step forward with the gun. You see the shadow again get a little larger. Roll me for one final luck, please. That's a 15. That's not amazing. Well, unfortunately, you're getting the not amazing thing then. It's not going to be that person or that person. Somebody steps out from the corner of the hotel. Ra something raised up into their hand. Something glinting with red. You see a man completely covered in winter gear standing behind Ekin. Do you say anything? No. Instead, I yell, I suddenly turn and point my wrench out in the opposite direction. Like I turn to like back and to my left as if I heard something behind me. You say and like, I what? Or something? <laughs> and I just yell out, who's there? <laughs> oh, that's so dick. <laughs> such a dick move but it's great <laughs> he points his gun off to where you were pointing as this happens out of the corner of his eye he sees behind him he looks back as the glass comes down cleaving his arm off at the at the elbow he drops the gun because of course and lets out a scream i would like to immediately rush forward um, to the gun. If I can't get to the gun, I want to bash whoever's closest with a wrench. You begin rushing forward. Roll me for your speed as Etkin is holding on to his arm stub stub. Need that speed. Plus ultra. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck, Rat Chat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 22! I got a 22. You make your way over to the gun. Whenever the gun dropped, the gun actually fired. Okay. You made your way over to it just as Etkin is trying to like hold off the uh, hold off freaking Mason behind him. You grab the gun and you tear it away from the vice grip that is the dead hand. What do you do with it? I'd like to I've had some experience recently with firearms, what with using the paintball gun, so I at least have a little bit of uh, familiarity with, with at least aiming and firing them, if, even if kickback takes me by surprise. Um, I'd like to turn and aim it at Etkin, who is, I imagine, at this point, being fucking accosted by Mason. Um, Mason, at this point, is, like, grabbing at Etkin's shoulder. His mouth is open wide, as you see, like... You see the fabric of Stacy's fucking. <laughs> you see the fabric of Stacy's skirt like coming out of his mouth and blood oh. coming out as well from his own from his own like teeth that you're like pushed down. He's just not is looking good, and Etkin's just looking like the fuck, man. What are you made of? I like I aim it towards Etkin's head, and I just mutter before firing the gun. What well, would you look at that? I guess it's my lucky day. You fire at Etkin. You have used a gun before in this playthrough. So I'm going to be giving you a plus two to this roll. Even though the gun is heavier, and again, like you said, the kickback would kind of suck. You fire forward. Focus? Roll me for your focus first. That's a five. I nat one. So, you know, looks like it's not my lucky day. That's not a nat one. 
Is that not in that one? No, that's a negative oh, two yeah, and a plus two. Position. Sorry, that is a that is a three. Yeah, but it's still a five. You fire forward. As you do this, you completely miss. Roll me luck. That's an eighteen. There is one bullet left in the gun. Ooh. Mason. Do you want to get closer to Mason? Mason is completely, like, enamored with what he's doing right now. Do I have, like... Mm. So, yeah, he's enamored with, like, attacking um, Etkin. Hmm. <clears throat> I still... I got the wrench and the gun, so I have... It would be... Cool to finish it with the gun. You could I'd try like to, to wrench. You could try to wrench Mason in the back of the head and shoot Etkin, or you can try to shoot Mason and leave the wrench for Etkin. Or I could wait. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> No. This is just about the unluckiest way that you could go out, huh? Oh, no. You did suck out his luck. <laughs> As Etkin pulls out his knife with his other hand and stabs forward into Mason, Mason doesn't give a fuck for some reason. What the fuck, man? As Mason brings his hands on Etkin around his neck, Ekin is trying his best. You see him like trying to like push the push his chin down. He has his arm trying to wrench the arms away from him. You hear a crack. As Ekin's eyes after letting out a yell go empty. His neck snapped. Both Ekin and Mason fall into the snow. Ekin not moving at all. And Mason bringing his hands and mouth down onto the stub of his arm. As Mason is probably distracted by this, I'd like to go behind him, put the gun up close to the back of his head, and solemnly fire it. You fire the gun at complete close range. Roll me focus! No. Oh my god. <laughs> you you missed entirely. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot Mason it in the back the of the ground, head. Into the basement, it's Paul. <laughs> you shoot Mason in the back of the head. As Mason collapses down onto Etkin. The gunshot echoes through the ski resort. A very somber sound follows. Complete hey, a new nothingness. Did you know the Phantom Thieves? Except for the notification that says that Dark Rio 32 was just uh, subscribed. Thank you very much. I'm I'm <laughs> Swag. <laughs> <laughs> it was like I'm saying complete nothingness, and all I hear is, "Hey, a new guy! It's me, Ryuji." Other than that, anyway. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. <laughs> I throw the gun down onto their corpses. And uh, I'd like to head inside to Paul. You make your way inside to Paul, who's just still kind of, kind of laying there. He isn't bleeding out, but he seems to at least have fallen asleep. He's breathing. I'd like to bring him upstairs, put him on a proper bed, not in the basement. You take him up toward one of the rooms that was not completely fucking ruined, and you lay him down on a bed. Do you want to go and try to find Mrs. Bodie? I would like to. You make your way out, looking off into the woods, as you do, you see a little pupper yipping and running off towards you. You see the duke. 
He tries to jump to you like, hey, I'm here. What's going on? <laughs> I will catch the fuck out of that dog. Yeah. You look behind the Duke as you catch him as Mrs. Bodie is just like standing there kind of again with that kind of weird, crazy look on her face like, ah, is it okay to be here? I don't understand. They're both dead, Mrs. Bodie. They're all dead. That's wonderful. We can survive then. Yes. We will wait to be rescued. And then we'll explain what happened. We have another witness that knows the, what Etkin did. <laughs> All of a sudden, Paul wakes up. No, no, that was Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, if he does that shit, I swear <laughs> oh to God. him. Let's go get warm. You guys... Without Ruth, I lack the knowledge to turn the power back on. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll have to wait for Paul to wake up. We will need Paul and to bundle up in the meantime. <laughs> also, I don't want to be outside because, like, at any moment, a bear could find <laughs> us. It's like, I, that would just upset me greatly. <laughs> As you made your way back inside with Mrs. Bodie and the Duke, eventually the police and the rescue squad do show up. It takes another day, but they do eventually make their way up the mountain. They would have came quicker, but, well, plot. Um, but no, <laughs> they would have but came snow. quicker, but it was, it was unstable. They couldn't, have, they couldn't get any vehicles up here. They couldn't do anything like that. The first thing you see was a small search party on foot coming up. Paul eventually woke up the next morning. You guys look around at all of the other at all of the other bodies. Eventually, you had I'm I'm, I'm assuming you had at least brought in Ruth and Stacy. Oh, totally. We we gathered all the bodies together into one place. You brought Ruth and Stacy back inside, set them with Chad, and the police showed up. What do you tell them? Paul doesn't have all the answers. Paul just says what happened to him, which is that he didn't trust Chad and he regrets it. And coming in after Chad had left was Ekin, hey, at which detail. point he, he he assumed Ekin was good because that's what Paul had, that's what Chad had said. Like, hey, we were away. We're obviously good guys. And he's like, oh, Ekin. Oh, God. Ah! Anyway. So, Deco. What's up, man? Why don't you go ahead and roll Miss Bodie's luck? Oh. oh my god. You want me to roll her luck? Yes, I could definitely do that. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Her luck is not great. Mm. That's a six. Oh, fuck. That's a six. Once the police are here, um, do they ask me what happened privately, or do they ask us all as a group? They ask each of you privately, because they don't want they they don't want you anybody influencing each other. I'll tell them the truth. I'll tell them that an assassin was hired. Mister Ekin was an assassin hired by Miss Bodie to uh, to kill her husband. I'll tell them how the events unfolded, that the unexpected occurrence of there being a cannibal uh, confused things, that there was an additional unrelated murder that has set us all into confusion. <clears throat> I'll explain to them what happened with the storm, what I can relate in, in accordance with the deaths. I'll tell them who killed whom, that we went up to the storage facility to try to, to find what had happened, that we found Duke there. I'll tell them... Um, Oh, I'll tell them that we fought a bear, and there's a bear with an axe in its face somewhere in the woods. Oh yes, we found that bear. It was it was it was it was on the ground, bleeding to death, and well, I guess it was more dead than that. And there were some wolves around it, chewing on it, and we shooed them away. <laughs> I got this nice axe. <laughs> and I'll tell them very melodramatically that I resent being lucky enough to survive this incident. 
They give you a pat on they give you a pat on the shoulder. They say that your story checks out with most of the things that Paul had said, but they can definitely tell that Mrs. that Mrs. Bodie was unstable. By just by the way she was talking. <laughs> I made no promises to Miss Bodie to protect Miss Bodie. And like I, I said that we'd survive what was happening and then judgment would be cast afterwards. You rolled her luck. She hired an assassin. <laughs> I know her husband sucked. I don't know if he sucked at an assassin level. The court can decide that. <laughs> the court can decide. The court can decide that. As um, you tell them everything, by the end, they do grab the handcuffs that are there because they're cops and they have those. Not the fluffy ones. Not the fluffy ones. They take her into custody. Heft. I was about to say, I imagine that just in case he was being a horror movie, a villain and not dead. I was like, by the way, I'd like to retcon in that I, I handcuffed Etkin even though he was dead. Then I was like, that nah, probably not though on account of only one hand. <laughs> <laughs> As they handcuff Mrs. Bodie, Mrs. Bodie is, is pleading like, no, no, you don't understand. My life can begin now, please, no. As all of them gather up everything they possibly can and all the information and they, they, they take you down the mountain with Paul. The two of you with your small bags of belongings heading downward towards safety. I, I just want to know, what the hell was that guy? Mason. Did you learn anything? Mason. He was. He was just a monster. A cannibal. You guys follow the police downwards. Or maybe he's a vampire. I don't fucking know. <laughs> You follow the police downwards, heading off to safety. You regret that your friends did not survive the encounter, but life has to go on. You regret being the lucky one that lived. You eventually take the Duke and you head home. While the police are cleaning up everything at the top of the mountain. Forensics come in. They have a hard time because all the bodies were moved, but. They seem. Frantic. They seem to be moving around in a very strange manner. The police captain who was there to interrogate you all heads over toward them, asking what the hell is going on. Sir, we... We're missing a body. Fucking vampire. They look over toward where Ekin is laying. The second body of the other man completely gone. And with that, that is the end of the game. God damn. Secretly, we were within the Type Moon universe and he was a fucking dead the whole time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> the thing about the Type Moon universe, that could hold up too. Just normal people encountering one fucking zombie. God damn. Well. I mean, congratulations, guys. Year. You did it. Sequel. Oh my god. You guys were able. You guys were able to to deal some wounds to Mason, so that uh, so that <laughs> so that they, you, I'm sorry, everybody died. <laughs> I should not have trusted Etkin. I should have. I, I was so I, I was so scared whenever you did, because I'm like, oh shit, Ben only has one health. <laughs> <laughs> there are still two people. <laughs>
I was so scared when you're just screen. like, I'm just going to turn around and go down the stairs. I'm like, no. <laughs> all right. All right. I have two questions. <laughs> all right. Two. Question number one. Why is my board messed up? <laughs> oh, my God. Your board was basically there to get you guys out of the house. Uh, it was messed up because uh, because uh, freaking Etkin took a knife to it. Why? He's a professional killer, man. He had different ways of getting everybody alone and out of the house. He knew that one person was going around killing people, so the easy way to keep going was just let him kill more people. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, then, second question. What killed Mr. Bodie? Jesus. Oh, that was Mason. Yeah, I, I... that was Mason. Oh! That was Mason? That was really? Mason. Yeah, um, the person, uh, fucking... Um, Miss Bodie, or not, sorry, uh, Clarissa was killed by Etkin, um, and Mr. Because, and I'm, if, if I'm following this, it was because, um, Etkin's target, Mr. Bodie, had already been killed. And because Clarissa mm. was an ex-client of his, so she knew yeah. that he was an assassin. Yeah, so, so he is just covering his tracks. I imagine that, um, the fact that he was hired to kill, uh, Mr. Bodie... Um, meant that when he was killed by Mason in that very dirty way, it probably was a lot less professional than um, Etkin would have done it. Mm. So um, I imagine Etkin was just trying to kill anyone that might implicate him because anyone that saw the death might have been like, well, fucking Etkin's here. So uh, I, I don't know him. He probably killed them. The only cause... people he was going to kill personally was Clarissa, Mr. Bodie, and Paul because he knew that Paul had surveillance everywhere. Yeah. Well, but in the end, since Paul. Paul was the only one left, he was like, I, sh I need to find a way to talk to Benjamin without him just fucking running at me with a fucking vengeance. I enjoyed my I take a step rant. <laughs> it was great, and I loved it. Was it was very dumb. Yeah. Again, I'm very sorry that, ever that everybody had died except for one of you. Um... Perhaps, uh, perhaps whenever uh, the the studio gets the funds for a sequel, uh, you guys can all return. Maybe next year. I was gonna. That's why I said join us next year <laughs> in the sequel. <laughs> uh, where Lucky Benny will be the first to fucking die. <laughs> Please. Do you? I mean, you could definitely use Lucky Benny again if you wanted to. I probably will. Honestly. <laughs> you guys don't understand. I know it. It's Mason. <laughs> Who? This is just like before. <laughs> Haunted by the memories of his dead friends. Fucking, what the fuck is he that can survive a bullet to the brain unless he's a vamp? Fucking whatever, we're normal people and he's a supernatural <laughs> monster. He doesn't have to play by anyone's rules. <laughs> I, I still don't know why Edkin decided to kill him. Well, me, but... Lucky. He's, uh, he likes murder, I guess. He likes murder, but also again, he was uh, he he saw that you uh, that you might put two and two together about what happened with Paul, because he still had a plan to I kill was Paul in the end. High at the time, he it still does, I mean, he doesn't matter. know, You're man. Um, he ha he still okay, had a plan I've... to kill Paul, so he knew that you might put two and two together. My whole plan in that whole take a step forward thing was just build up my luck stuff enough that I could. I was going to, in the end, get him spooked enough and also make him think that I had some, like, I'd left something behind that implicated him. I was going to throw the wrench straight up in the air and be like, what you need to worry about is up there. And then as he, like, w like looked at the wrench, rush him. Try to but, tackle him. You know, yeah. But I didn't expect it to work, but I was like, if I'm going to go out, <laughs> this is how I'm going out. Oh, God damn it, Mason Jason. God damn it. <laughs> And Etkin wow. Freddy. I was hoping that nobody would notice that. Wow. Because if you guys noticed that too early, then you guys would know who it was. Uh, American Jake would like you to check your notifications to see if you got donations. Oh, okay. Let me, let me, let me go there really quick. I'm sorry. American Freddy. Jake donated another dollar. Great stream, guys. Each part of it was a riot. Also, I must say... Uh, any of this with regards to Mrs. the Miss Body being ratted out? Somebody once told me the world yeah, is gonna so roll that. me. I hit oh, the sharpest right. tool in the shed. <laughs> Fucking Jeez. after this, I think Lucky Benny's probably gonna look into the private eye business. <laughs>
he's you're gonna he's just gonna be a fucking a pi in the next game or in the next and that's the character arc he's not lucky he makes everyone else unlucky <laughs> <laughs> However, because he because he has realized this, perhaps his stats will have changed next time to reflect that. No! Whenever I split luck and charisma into two separate stats. <laughs> yeah. I didn't actually think that I would need an, a, like, a charisma stat, and then I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Of course you need a charisma stat. <laughs> oh my god. But yes, even though all of this happened, I, I hope that the, I hope that the three of you who died still enjoyed yourselves. I hope that oh, the one yeah. who lived, yeah. oh yeah, isn't. T yeah. I, I hope that I hope that the sadness of Lucky Benny isn't gonna hurt you too much. <laughs> I think the only reason I survived is because I fought the bear and got incapacitated, which kept me on the sidelines long enough for all the other players. Lucky to die. Benny. <laughs> Like, I think if, I very much think if I'd gone in with you guys originally, I probably would have been, like, stupidly attacked someone. You know what the, you know what actually like... the, you know what actually was the best thing you did? Mm. Scaring the fuck out of Mrs. Bodie. Mm. Good. I had, whenever you did that, I wrote down that she knows that you are scary and could maybe protect her. Mm. Nice. So, the, like, even if you weren't, like, sledded in the end of that she was still going to try to approach you and have you help her you know fucking funny enough because uh, we talked about the like the way we met and whatnot how like I, I was keeping notes on everyone when you introduced Etkin you made a point of telling me he didn't like me very much <laughs> I, can, I, I stopped taking notes like mid, like near the end of the second game because mm -hmm. bear happened, but those are my notes. Oh, God. Top 10 anime betrayals. Uh, stuff was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Etkin versus Chad. What are you hiding? Oh, it was sexy clothes. She was hiding sexy clothes. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, Officer Mandy was a red herring, like completely. <laughs> Oh, under Mason, my like, good buddy, according to me. There was, there was there was, a, there was ways of 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 getting certain people to to get through that, but honestly, like characters getting through is a lot is a lot easier, and you didn't have that happen either. So I'm not putting it against you guys. Mandy, Mandy could have been saved, but that was only if you guys could have taken her with you up to the mountain instead of Etkin. We mm. took the killer. But I, if I you would have done that, then Paul probably would have been dead. Jesus. You're mine. They're pretty what? simplistic. Mm. Honestly, you guys did probably <laughs> the best I could have asked you guys to do. Because, again, if Paul would have died uh, while you guys were gone, then Etkin would have had no reason to kill anyone else. Oh, and he probably would have got away with Etkin it. Etkin note starts with, he's cool, and then ends with, Fucking betrayed and killed me. <laughs> and Mason, sick bro, feels feels bad about the smoke he had to suffer through. Ain't my girlfriend's blood. <laughs> we were keeping notes post mortem. Fucking what it is. Ain't my yes. girlfriend's yes, they blood. Did. Dude, I barely wrote fucking anything. Yeah, mine were pretty. So how is it? How is it that the stupid jock survived, but the fucking the, the virgin died first? I don't know how how Excuse many how many. You. I died first. How dare you? Oh, oh I mean, sorry. I mean, here's I mean, here's the thing. Like there are there are two tropes yeah, you didn't get conflicting first, here. But I actually died first. There are two like, tropes conflicting here. Unfortunately, the virgin had to die because the virgin had a really good way to fucking kill people. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as it's just like, oh, I can do a shit ton more damage just by pumping them full of fucking air. <laughs> Give them like a goddamn embolus. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so like that's basically ending, like I'm... if you say that without being in like the last 30 minutes of a movie that's basically saying kill me although i didn't kill you because of that i killed you because of the roles but still so um yeah yeah i i will hold though that my favorite part of the entire campaign for me will always be rolling in that 20 on luck on the bear that is mm -hmm. besides we don't we don't know we don't know man i mean like how many people has uh benny been with he could have been the virgin too. I like to believe that's not the case. <laughs> he gets lucky. Oh god. He gets lucky. 
<laughs> Although I will, it never really came out. But I'm sad that I'm sad that Amanda uh, fucking that Mandy died because shouldn't do anything. Benny, Benny liked Mandy. Aww. She was just, she was just a mall cop dreaming of better things. I know that's that's what fucking <laughs> also a part time stripper. Like, hey, how about you? Do you want to come with me afterwards and like maybe maybe make something more of yourself and like I could help give you some money and we could hang out because you seem you seem nice and creative. And then she died. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, and now I got Paul, who I, w I would have been like, don't worry, I'll take care of you, Paul. Probably has parents. <laughs> <laughs> you go to Paul, you're like, hey, I'm opening up a PI business. You want to be you want to you want to be my secretary? Oh, my God, Mandy could have been my secretary. <laughs> this is this is the worst possible outcome to the game. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> <clears throat> to be fair about the whole syringe full of air thing, um, I actually, whenever we suggested, I did look it up a bit. Turns out movies and media tends to kind of inflate how effective that is at killing people. It takes a while. Mm. It like they can suffocate you, but apparently um, air embolisms they they take quite a while to kill a person. Yes, but I I, I like, do I do know, and it's not from experience that very much, but like. Getting a bubble of air from a syringe actually hurts like a fucking bitch. Oh yes, it can it can fuck you up. It but can like, really fuck you up. Um, it can, it can take a long like it takes long enough for an air embolism to kill a person that it's quite common for them to get diagnosed and like treated. And mm -hmm. It's not incredibly hard to treat them either. Hmm. Did Ben grab the Did Ben yes. grab the detective coat and walk into the sunset? I don't know. He was really depressed. You've always after. had the I, th I think. Coat. At, Upon finding Ruth and Stacy dead and forward, I was very much in the well. I don't get to be happy as Benny for the rest of this game. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know, you could take you could take the code as as a memento of Mandy. Yeah, I, I will. We'll say I took the code. <laughs> I'm opening my PI business where I'm wearing the coat. And you take and and you take Chad's board. Mm. Or you Wouldn't don't have it any other way. And, and you, you take the, the dog. <laughs> Oh yes, Duke is mine. Aww. <laughs> Aww. There's no one left to love him but me. <laughs> you fought a bear for him. Mm -hmm. would, would cutting your veins solve the air problem? Uh, cutting deep enough to get deal with an air embolism <clears throat> um, would itself cause a lot of problems because, in order for there be to be like enough space to like for the pressure to normalize in the air to escape your vein, um, you'd you'd cause an absurd amount of bleeding numbskull says oh. benny's pi business it's fucking mason isn't it call 204 kill mason if you have somebody dead fucking <laughs> 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 this whole thing yo i'm really kind of oh no hmm? because this because this resolved when it did we didn't at least here anyways the game didn't end up going like branching over into halloween but where it matters it did happy halloween yeah, everybody happy Yay! Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> it is one o'clock it is halloween i was gonna i was gonna end things off with a happy halloween but now that you brought it up happy halloween everybody happy halloween oh this is awesome i i really did enjoy doing this game actually making a short campaign was really a lot more fun than i thought it was gonna be like, again, I mentioned this before, but, like, not spanning a campaign over several months and possibly a year um, really, really helps, like, get that feeling of accomplishment, like, immediately, you know? It, it's nice to finish something. Yeah. yeah. I think you and I definitely can both attest to that, and that having long-running games that have, like, a really far-off goal ultimately, in the long term, feels a bit like a job. Yeah, very much so. Um, it's like whenever you finish something short that's why i break up my games into episodes so that we at least have like that moment at the end of like every four or five games where we're like yeah we did a thing <laughs> uh but yeah i complete i completely agree it almost feels like a job and it's just like uh like sometimes the players don't see it like that either so it's it's, it's you know yeah. It's interesting. It's a very interesting type of thing, and I, I hope that I hope that this went across to other people as as a fun little little uh, horror thing. Uh, but for now, I do think that since we have done all of this, uh, I would like to go down the list here, and I would like to see if there's any any farewell comments from first off, Stacy. Mm -hmm. 
Is there any farewell comments for the, for the rest of them, Stacy? Particularly Stacy, not Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I died saving Rose. It's such a fucking waste. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can I always pretend to be happy about okay. it? Actually, it uh, on, top of this, on top of this, Deco, if it's okay. Oh, what the? Um, I didn't even say where uh, it was. Guys, well. As you go down the list, uh, what was everyone's favorite moment from their character during the game? I wonder. Yeah, what about that, Stacey? Ooh, I, I like... What did I like? I liked taking the bath on the head. <laughs> <laughs> I feel <laughs> like that was very... We're In just like, you just like open the door and scream enough. and have plenty of time to move, but you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! um, like, it's so fucking like the dumb chicken movies that I was like, yeah, that's happening. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm very proud of it. What about you, Ruth? First off, what kind of comments do you have? And then what's your favorite thing that Ruth did? Uh, I don't know about comments. Mm. Ruth doesn't have any comments for everybody? <laughs> what would she Ghost hope, Ruth say? <laughs> she hopes her feelings got through to uh, Stacy and Ned. They didn't! <laughs> Just let her dream, she's dead now! <laughs> Rip. <laughs> In terms of favorite moment, probably trying to explain to everyone the difference between fucking soup, nail polish, and uh. fucking blood. <laughs> Oh. oh my god the moments where your where your wits shine through because no one else had good wits was amazing it was a fucking fury <laughs> what about How the rad chad that? does rad chad have oh the say? rad chad huh well i have two favorite moments well All first right. off what's about what about some comments rad chad what you gotta say uh it was pretty fun Rad Chad, I'm died. talking to. Not, no, I'm not talking to Emerald. I'm talking to Rad Chad. Chad, dude. Okay, that's good. It's All right. Yeah, that is a huge shocker. Mm. <laughs> what uh, are your moments, Chad? Uh, my, I actually have three now. now that I'm about it. <laughs> three moments from Rad Chad. Oh, God. Moment number one, the pancakes. Morgan sported the pancakes that me and Etkin made. Aww. <laughs> that nobody wanted to eat. Kind of bittersweet in hindsight. <laughs> yeah. The last oh, thing fucking... you and Etkin did together before he killed you was make pancakes. Yeah, we made fucking pancakes. Like, what the fuck? He was Why really good with the knife in the kitchen, dude, too. Yeah, I know. It was sweet. <laughs> uh, the second moment was, of course, when I got backstabbed. I trusted that kid. I don't know why I did. It was just like, oh, hey. <laughs> it's Atkin. We were with him. He can't possibly be the murderer. He's outside killing my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> He's outside killing my girlfriend. And then the final moment was the final cha, dude. <laughs> All right. Benny, do you have any comments for everybody? Children at home, remember to eat your oatmeal. And, good, um, good job. <laughs> my favorite moment was the bear from mine, but also... Obviously, it was badass as fuck. Yeah, man. <laughs> but also, the, as I've now realized it, very fitting moment of trying to fire the gun saying it's my lucky day and firing it shortly after giving a speech about how he's not lucky other people around him are just un like unlucky because that was a very unlucky thing to happen to benny at that moment mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the, that was a very unlucky thing to happen right there but i mean luckily you still have one bullet left man yeah yeah but with all of that being said i want to tell all of you I didn't. I didn't talk to any of you for for uh, craziness and killing. I knew it. If that, if that, was, if that wasn't completely yep. obvious by now. <laughs> oh. You were all so fine. Emerald. Yeah. You were all fine. <laughs> There's a chance that we may owe you an apology. <laughs> what? I fucking don't. Nope. <laughs> what did we everybody much... think it was Emerald? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only, I, I'll admit that the others may pretend that we've not talked about it privately, but we have. 
So, I will uh, say there have been some neat little conversations <laughs> that I have had with you guys. Uh, like, like, like Ruth in particular said some really funny things to me. Yeah. <laughs> if I want to, if I, if I want to go back and, and, and read out one of Ruth's. Oh, I don't know if that's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it at that. <laughs> oh, but I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell him. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> the, the, not this game, but the game before, uh, we got a, can I be the killer XD? Can I kill Stacy? I'm kidding. Maybe. Oh! <laughs> yeah. You were being real dumb. I'm sorry. You know what's fucked up? Is it in a way you did kill me? Save you. Yeah! <laughs> And today we got uh, as as a bit of a as a bit of a uh, going against that was a can I sacrifice myself to save her? Oh, shut up! And then also Aww. fuck that guy. I liked his damn electricity. Ungrateful dick. Fucking <laughs> 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 I liked his damn electricity. Ungrateful dick. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. <laughs> but yes, with all of that being said. Uh, next time we do this will maybe be next year if I remember, and <laughs> All right. only if these guys decide they want to help out as well and do it again. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'll grab some other people if they don't want to. But these four have dibs if they would like to. If they would like to do this again. Oh man, I, I would love to. But oh, yeah. all of that being said, I will wish everybody a happy Halloween. This was exactly how I wanted it to go. And the first couple of games very lighthearted, turned really serious in game three, turned really sad in game four. That's a slasher film for you. Yeah, boy. And with that, guys, oh, dude. until next time, like always, later days. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye.